Alright gamers, are you ready? <laughs> this is my new commentating voice. It doesn't make me sound like a worm. What are you thinking? Uh, here we go. I'll just sit here for a... Uh, I don't know. Set a grace intro. <clears throat> Alright. What up, gamers? Welcome back for another... <clears throat> oh, it's out of tune. We have double XP on double XP on double XP. Because look at this. We got double XP week, which gives us 100% XP. We got double XP day, which with patron gives 100%. Uh, and then we've also got double XP potions. So uh, I, I don't know how long we'll end up playing today, but maybe a little over an hour at the very least, just because got to capitalize on that XP, man. Thanks, Fruit Bowl. Appreciate the super chat, buddy. Um, so the best ways of getting XP right now, we're going to do. Uh, basically, we're going to wear out this guy's quest lines because they give a huge chunk of XP. And then we're going to go into the delves because that gives pretty much the most XP. Uh, but delves are boring. That's why I saved that for last. Anyways, let's grab the double XP pot. Grab this. And we got to pretty much just try to focus on five stars only. Anyways, I just woke up. So excuse me if I'm all... Bleh probably going to end up getting uh very congested as usual because that always ends up happening but i've been kind of on a night schedule just uh i don't know doing things at the night time but i'm gonna try if i can today i'll probably try and just stay up stay up stay up stay up stay up to Turn that back around so I can get the videos at more regular hours for you guys. Because that's the thing is normally when I'm staying up at night, I'm usually like getting a lot of work done. But I haven't been so much. I kind of just been taking time for myself and whatever else. But anyways, we still got that disgusting mod on, by the way. That, uh, you know, the arrow mod thing. Is there... I'm gonna refresh the YouTube page. Hold up. I feel like I feel like I'm there's a mistake going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's now it's working. Okay. Weird. Anyways, hopefully notifications actually go out because ha 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 ha, you know how YouTube is. I'm still not used to the fact like whoever made this mod made the colors reversed. So it's like blue for the cursed skulls, red for the bosses. I'm so used to it being the other way. <laughs> but, oh well. Um, What else did I need to let you guys know about? I guess there wasn't that much. Oh, um, well, this is completely separate, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I, uh, I actually went out of my way and I bought some V-Bucks, so I'll give those away probably during my next uh, Fortnite video or stream. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> you probably have the volume at zero, Bill. I'm seeing good volume levels on my end. Whoops, I gotta just focus on five stars. I keep forgetting. Hey, Epoch. I chose to say that because it's easier than the other part. Yes. Yeah, hopefully he'll... There he goes. He's just gonna refresh. I keep forgetting. He just said he couldn't hear it, so I had to, like, type tell him. Refresh! But oh well. Oh, God, help me. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, no, I know, Jax. It's definitely something on Bill's end. But hello. Um, thanks, Infinian. Appreciate you, man. Uh, yeah, we did use a double XP potion. Man, my brain is just bleh. Help me. Speak to me. Streaming. Lots of people messaging me in game lately. That don't seem to... I don't know if they don't get the notification or something, but yeah. Yeah, Bill, I was actually talking to you about... Uh, oh, refresh the stream. I don't know why I thought you could hear that. But anyways. Hey, Vish. Um, on the store, is there... Wait, what? Oh, you mean on my store? Uh, I'd have to double check. I think so. Maybe not. I know there was a long time ago, but there might not be any more. 
I really got to do like a big spring clean, go through my store and sort everything out. The the big thing that happened with my merch store is a lot of it just got like, I don't know. There, there was just issues where it got like removed and junk. What the? Okay, there's a boss over here apparently. Hello, where is this? Oh, it's over here. Okay. But yeah, I need I need to go through my store and fix everything. Cuz there was a point where it was like, "Oh, this this can't be on the store." And it was like, "Okay." And I just kept trying to add it back and then eventually I had to contact support and just ugh. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm not sure is what I'm saying. Hey, Multi. Yeah, no, I know. I have a coffee. I'm just waiting for it to cool off a little bit. <clears throat> um, is there a difference between magic and physical? Yeah, it's literally what uh, Good Boy said. Is It's it's just the difference between um, some classes use magic damage, some use uh, physical damage. That's it. Personally speaking, I, I'd prefer it if... Uh, if they just made, like, one unanimous damage type, I think it would be a lot less confusing for people. Hey, Vox. Does your club have fixtures? Ours? Yeah, of course it does. We just, uh, so you... This might be what you're talking about, or it's just completely unrelated. Uh, we don't have them on the test server. Uh, I just know that lots of people notice, like, Oh, your stats are weaker on the test server. And it's like, yep, that's why. Do we have a season three Royale release date? No, of course not. <laughs> Why would you think that? They kind of, um, so unfortunately, we kind of expected this to happen. They did nerf the bouncing ally or bouncing mount, sorry. So now it no longer is affected by uh, ally cooldown speed, which we kind of saw that coming, right? Uh, just let me know your, well, sorry, I was going to say, let me know your username, Vish, and I can invite you, but, uh, then I'll have, like, a big train of people asking for invites. Um, your best bet is join the Discord and ask in there, even if you don't, like, stick around in the Discord, it's just where we regularly have people, or you could catch me at the end of the stream. But usually by the end of the stream, I forget, and then I just log out, so, <laughs> just a heads up. Oh, there's a five star. Oh, God, help me. <clears throat> yeah, or or maybe at the very least, if they don't make it like all one damage type, they should swap physical and magic to just say like uh, ranged or uh, physical damage or something like that, you know? Which uh, wouldn't make much sense because, you know, Shadowhunter's ranged. But if they just changed it up a little bit, I, I think it's a quick, easy fix. But I don't think that the devs are going to do it. I mean, we're talking about developers that added prime numbers to the way that Paragon levels work. So, it just goes to show. I don't think they're going to... <laughs> I don't think they're, like, naturally good at making things approachable. Let's say that. Oh, and then, um... What was it my buddy Joe showed me the other day? Apparently, Game Ago has been doing layoffs, um, and then they ended up just recently buying up another MMO. So, yeah. I guess that's just what they do, huh? They just maximize profits. Just buy up another company by laying people off. Nothing to do with Trove, uh, you know. Wait, why did I get Venturine? Rewarded for completing a G... Oh, right, 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 right. I didn't even realize I was getting... Uh, Adventuring for completing these quests. <laughs> I probably have a decent amount, actually. Didn't even think about it. <clears throat> uh, I don't know why Nightbot isn't answering your question about the shadowy spotlight update, but no, we don't. We don't know. You already know that. Um. Oh, the feathers that I'm using is the Paragon Aura. Very expensive. You might be able to get it for cheaper on console than PC, but it, it depends, really, how many people ended up buying Paragon Pinatas, because that's where you get it. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Jax. 
Yeah, I mean, that's basically being at the end game, isn't it? I don't know. You gotta find the things that you find fun, though, dude. Like, I always liked grinding in general, so Paragon, the Paragon update was perfect for me, because it's like, oh, now I'm actually gaining more than just items by grinding. Is it benefiting me in any way, shape, or form? No, but it doesn't mean it's not fun. There's an hour five star. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hey, mystery. What up? Uh, on PS4, I got the Paragon Wings and sold them for two mil and didn't realize. Oh my god. You poor soul, dude. Oh god. Like, you got the wings from the pinata? Because, yeah, those are. That's probably one of the rarest items in the entire game, my dude. Just because of the ratio of uh, pinatas that you got open and how expensive they are. So, rip. Um. Also, yeah, you guys keep asking. We don't know when the Shadow Hunter update comes to console, dude. You just gotta wait and see, unfortunately. Um. How expensive is the effect? Oh, like this aura? I don't know. You're just gonna have to check your store. Like, I. Depending which version of Trove that you're on. I think I bought them here on PC for like. I think it was like 1.6 mil, which was actually very reasonable. It's probably a lot more expensive now, but I don't know. Highest possible mastery rank so far. Uh, I don't know. I know there's some people that are like, you just got to check the leaderboard. Frankly, I don't know. And I don't really care. I stopped caring about mastery when they added the delves. <laughs> they, they made mastery like too unapproachable. It was just like, okay, now I got to farm delves over and over again for this one boss to drop its one item. And it was just like, no, or spend millions of flux on like a garbage item just for the sake of getting mastery. And it was just, nah, actually it was earlier than delves come to think of it. I think it was around the gardening update. That's when I stopped caring because they started putting everything behind. You remember those dumb gardening allies? Oh, gross, dude. I'm still missing some of those, but that's around the time that I just stopped caring. I'm still casually getting it, but, um, oh, does it take a long time for your purchase to go through Infineon? Is that what you're saying? Cause that's just, uh, you might be running into there, There's one of two things happening. When you buy stuff out of the store, like uh, credit pouches and junk like that, you're either having the issue that some countries have where it just doesn't process through your store quickly. Uh, some people, it, they just can't buy them, period. So there you go. Uh, or the other issue that you might be running into is literally anytime you buy anything out of the cash shop, relog, and then it'll show up in your inventory. It's just a weird way that it works. Like anytime I end up buying a new pack, I have to just relog in order to get it. Where is this guy? Oh, he was over here. Yoink. Oh my God, the helmet is like 14 to 18 mil now. Jesus, well, lucky me. I wonder what the wings are now. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to keep up, guys. <laughs> Do you like the look of the aura or is it just a flex? A little bit of both. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I honestly do feel that it goes with this costume pretty well. And I do kind of like it because at least it's like a different type of aura. You know? But it's kind of just a flex, like especially with these wings. Although they do go really well with this aura. Like what can I say? And this costume, like it just there's something about it, you know? <clears throat> um, channel under PC, nearly 30 KPR. What should I do to continue increasing my PR? Oh, probably your dragons. That's probably all that's lacking. Usually, usually, anyways. Yeah, you don't always have to relog for your items. That's true. But I usually just do because it's easier. Boop, boop. There we go. Um, meow. There we go. At least this guy's at the edge of the world. <clears throat> uh, I don't have the super paragon wings. I just got these ones, which is the ones that you craft. Which, eh, I mean, at least these are kind of unique, but I don't have the ones from the pinatas. No. God, no. Could you imagine? Let's, let's take a peek. I'm actually curious how expensive those suckers are. 
Probably very expensive now. Now that they've had some time. Oh, or nobody's even selling them. There you go. That's how rare they are. Which makes sense because on PC, I'm pretty sure like they would have got bought up right away. Because there's a lot more people on PC that have more flux. What can I say? <clears throat> I would never buy them for 50 mil though. Sold mine for 140 mil. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I would never buy it for that much. Uh, that's 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 flux duping level of money, <laughs> which I don't have. No way, son. All just for a little bit of mastery and some wings that are not really the best looking. That's just that's just a flex. That's all. Uh -uh. Um. Oh, okay, Infinian. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, bud. You might have to just reach out to support or something. The um the recent trove survey they actually asked uh very specifically about like credit pouches issues, so maybe now is your time to shine. Did you guys all do your voting by the way for like the new trove features? You better have, I swear. Got to let them know what we want, man. It might take a year, but at the very least, they do deliver, so. I guess I can go north, whatever. No, no, Gonda is not the most expensive thing in the game. No. Oh, Multi's got one. Noise. Thank you. Cross platform win. Nah, I wish. It's not gonna happen, dude. Never. Too many resources would have to go into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you go, dum-dum? There you are. Also, someone keeps asking how fast, how I'm fast. Um, Shadowhunter update. You guys don't have it on console. That's probably why you're confused. Um, but movement speed on all my gear, and then when you roll with Shadowhunter, his new ability gives him some more movement speed, so. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> I asked them to remove delves. That's not... No, you gotta be realistic, man. That's not gonna happen. They're not gonna listen to troll posts. Like, I think... I think if you just present it in a realistic way, like, explaining to them the things that you don't like about the delves, uh, and more specifically, what would be a good solution. Like, I personally... I, I've talked about this many times, but I like the delves mechanically. I just don't like that they decided to make it the infinite cave thing. Like, I still think it would be a very quick, easy fix for them to uh, overhaul the delves to actually be like Shadow Tower themed and just be an infinite dungeon instead of an infinite cave, you know? Maybe add a little bit of identity to it, because that's kind of the big problem with it. What the hell is going on with my phone? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you hate it when your phone automatically updates and you didn't tell it to? And you know, you know, the only thing that they updated was making the battery drain faster. I swear to God, these scumbag phone companies, it should be illegal. <laughs> I didn't even tell it to. God, I need to brick my phone just so they stop. Oh my God. <clears throat> um Oh, okay, Vish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you, bud. Um Yeah, once you have gone to yeah, jump becomes useless because you have infinite jump, but don't worry about don't sleep on that uh bomber season three mount. Because uh, that sucker is probably going to be better than Gonda just because it's very, very approachable and uh, gives you, well, basically infinite jump. And jumps way higher. Because the whole thing about Gonda that's nice is, uh, well, you know, for the end game especially, like a lot of these end game dungeons are really, really tall. Um, Lunar Lancer kind of makes a joke out of it. But generally speaking, like, I can stay at this level, and then I can just drop down very easily and start fighting, right? Uh, but the bomber mount is, uh, 
Well, it's kind of gonna end up taking care of a lot of that just because of the fact like I, it jumps 20 blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then I would still just be able to have my additional jump uh, to get up to that other location. And it's got like a three second cooldown, I think. And then you can just jump again. But I've already got videos showing it off. It's, it's the new Bomber Royale season three map that's coming essentially going to end up being probably the best mount in the game just because it's i don't know it, it delivers kind of the same experience of gonda but also is going to end up being way way more approachable that's all that's all <clears throat> oh god really joe damn welcome to the no power gang no you should stream anyways joe wait what was it we were getting oh joe we should play that, um, what, what was that, what was that game? Uh, the game that's free on Epic right now. We should play that one together. Oh, well, done with five stars, so you know what that means. Delves time. What the heck is that one? Just die already. That, that PewDiePie old man game is like free on Epic right now, and I want to try and play it with a bunch of my buddies just for a one-off video, because I think it'd be funny. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's weird. That sounds like a brownout. Um, is Neon Ninja still the fastest character? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just Shadow Hunter can actually like keep up now is the big thing. That's that's why, like, I already just love Shadow Hunter. So nice excuse to just use him, right? Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure my inventory is all cleaned up before we go in here. Uh, I keep forgetting too. We'll give away some stuff uh, at the end of the stream. Should have mentioned, but we'll give away some flux. I'll throw down some pinatas later too. Uh, not just yet though. We'll do that after we do some delves. Uh, I do have a portal, Melty. I still have your portal. Don't worry, bud. Oh my god. Wait, why do I have? Oh, I don't need these. Uh, wait, do I still have yours? Maybe I used them all up, actually. I should be able to craft some more, though, at the very least. What depths are these? 104. I'm not going to need that ever. Oh, but that's just, yeah, it just gives me a nerd geode. I don't need that crap. Yeah, you guys are all more than welcome to end up joining the delve for sure. Wait, oh, depth steppers. Okay, these I don't need. Let's see if I can actually end up crafting some more. It's been a while. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of a first come first serve though, so good luck if you end up joining. Oh my god. <laughs> my phone is still updating. <laughs> Jesus. Why? <laughs> okay, um, this way. Let's just buy some from this guy, right? Right, guys? Yeah, imagine. God. Hey, I can make a whole bunch of these. Uh, what do they cost? Yeah, sure. There's no reason to not buy these. This could be it. This could be the day that we end up getting the Permatorch, right? Right? Did you guys see that Darth Maul weapon? Oh, God. I... Oh, my Lord. I need to clear out my inventory. I got so much crap, dude. My stomach's starting to hurt from hunger, man. I was not expecting to be this hungry in the morning. <clears throat> I might have to uh, grab a quick snack. Actually, you know what? I'll grab a quick snack while you guys ready up. We don't have cliff bars, so I guess I'll have to settle for cheese, which means more phlegm. <laughs> so, hey, no, get out of here. I'm going to go to D&D &D just in case, actually. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't doubt it, Joe. That's the thing, dude. Anytime I ended up doing like really long streams on Twitch, <clears throat> excuse me. They they took a long time to process to come onto YouTube. 
There you go, Budge. She came next to me because, haha, <laughs> food. All right. We'll start at 115 because who cares? I'm just rushing it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Ugh, so good. Yeah, that's what happens when you end up doing long streams, Joe. I've noticed that as well. There was actually one stream. Um, I forgot what night it was. But I remember like being like, what the heck? Uh, when I was streaming Elden Ring, I had like, um, like, what was it? When the, when the stream ended, there was like 37 K people or something ridiculous, which was nuts, dude. I've never had that many people watch a stream before. Not all at once, obviously, but still, I guess I got recommended randomly or something. <clears throat> hey, D. Uh, well, you won't be able to join this queue, but don't worry. The devil's always messes up and messes, uh, like gets a bam. The devil always messes up and doesn't spawn the boss over and over like it should. So, <clears throat> so don't worry. We'll end up doing more. Can we get a permit torch? That is the question. Find out in the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z filler. Personal solo delve depth record. I, who keeps track of that? <laughs> That's a real question. I don't know. Um, around, I think 133 is when it starts slowing down to the point where I get bored. That's usually when I end up leaving in these groups, but a lot of times, um, I'll like a lot of times everybody leaves and then I'm the only one that's still doing damage. But usually it's around like 133 or something. And around there is when we start getting the debuff of like, oh, these enemies are resistant to physical or magic damage. And it's like, well, depending on which one I lose. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Matt. <clears throat> Does anyone know where I can get the torches uh, to make geo banners? What? You mean, wait, are you talking about the Leviathan torches? Because that's exactly what we're doing, my dude. Leviathans drop torches, which end up giving you some of the best light in the game. Um, and very, very rarely there is the perma torch, which is the permanent torch, because all the other ones will expire after a day on daily reset. And then you can forge those together to uh, expire on weekly reset. And then the permanent torch, which is extremely rare and I still haven't gotten yet, <clears throat> which is uh, stupid. Hey, Bobby, what up, man? Is your light maxed? No, uh, it's close, but the permit torch is the big thing that I'm missing. <clears throat> um, yeah, in order to join the club, I'd recommend just joining the Discord and asking in there. I'm sorry. I don't mean to blow you off or anything. It's just I know that in past experiences, if I invite one of you guys, then I got to invite like a bunch of you guys. And it's like, oof. Oh, wait, is that what he was saying, Multi, about changing the banner style? That, you quite literally just go to styles, and then there's the banner styles, if that's what you were asking. You can just use that to change the style. Uh, but yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, short answer is uh, ask in the Discord. That's your best bet to get invited. Can somebody... Um give me what was it the two things that i really wanted right now i want the valheim update that adds the mist lands i know nobody's asking for that but me uh and then i want the wood wood update what what is it the summer update for minecraft whatever the heck it's called they have it on a snapshot but i don't want to play the snapshot i want to be able to play multiplayer with my buddies and the only way to do that on a realm is with the official release i've been craving minecraft lately into the wild yeah thanks thanks guys Or something like that. But I want to play Minecraft again. But I can't justify doing it right now because nothing's changed. I mean, I guess I could do a snapshot on 
D, I guess we could host, or you could host a server, but eh, I don't know. All it would really end up being is just, hey guys, let's go and check out the, the warden and then just get eaten by him. That's it. No, Joe, there's, um, we don't even need a, oh, sorry, you're answering another question about mod, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the torches that I have on my back that look like a Minecraft torch, that, that was a mod, somebody did that for me. Who wanted to remain uncredited and didn't end up, uh, posting it online anywhere, so. <laughs> The Red Arrow mod call is literally called like Red Arrow Boss Finder or something. I don't. It's something very simple. It's literally just that. Die. All right. Give me my permatorch. Dang it. Come on, dum dum. Why don't you make a modded, what? <coughs> modded Minecraft server? No, that's literally what I was just saying about my buddy doing it. I will never be able to, uh, it's unfortunate, but it's true. I will never be able to host like a multiplayer server for you guys. There would just be too many. Do you guys have any idea how like taxing it is on a computer to end up getting like even more than five people on? Guys, we did it. We got the permanent torch. Look, it's right there. It, it refuses to be witnessed. Starfire Dragon Egg Fragment. Oh my god. Whoa. I mean, honestly, we should... Like, we're right on the cusp of getting the Permatorch. Like, I'm not kidding. Uh, let me see. Oh, ring polishing. I keep forgetting that this is a thing. <laughs> not worth the mastery, honestly. Um. Uh, what are my Leviathans at? <clears throat> 333. Or 31. Good god. Ah, yes, Mr. B. Well, today we got Trove on the mind. That's going to be the main topic today. Because the only other thing I could talk about is Fortnite. And frankly speaking, I've just been grinding it. There hasn't been anything super new. Other than I will give away V-Bucks and I'm not being sarcastic at all. Yes, these count towards the badge. Um, So, they changed it. Um... Uh, I think that was in the Paragon update, if I'm not mistaken. But they changed it so that these Delve... Uh, these Delve bosses now can actually drop, like, the Permatorch and count towards the badges and stuff. They didn't before. Uh, but they do now. Really? That sounds kind of weird. Mine hut? All right. I don't know, dude. I'm not, like, I'm not super keen on the idea of even, like, playing. Like, it's not like I want to play Minecraft that badly. It's like, I'll just wait for the, uh, for the update. I just hope it actually comes out this year. <clears throat> yeah, this is a helmet aura. Let's actually see what this sucker costs. Um... I thought it was under... Wait, what? Isn't there Paragon Auras? Oh, that's not... Oh. That's... Wait. Where are the Hat Auras, dang it? Aren't they in here? You should really be able to just click on these to change your aura, don't you think? I think so. Uh, Paragon Aura Weapon. Oh, I don't have that. Really? What does that cost? Stop harding it and show it to me in the store. 700k? Oh, God, sure. <laughs> that's that's very reasonable. Uh, where are they? Oh, but there it is. 14 mil. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is 14 mil. All right. Well, there you go. I think uh I think the only other thing that I'm missing then would be the um What do you call it? Um the wings? Is that it? Other than the crafted items, obviously, but... <clears throat> yes, D. Exactly what I was thinking. I just didn't want to say it because I didn't want to make him feel bad. <clears throat> oh, hey, TJ. What's going on, gamer? We got double XP, double XP, double XP, man. You better get on. 
You cannot ignore it. Oh, everyone's already at the end. Good. Brum, brum. Yeah, the other way that you end up getting this aura is out of Paragon Pinatas, which is probably even more expensive than just buying it, so... Yep. <clears throat> collect the aura? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. Or loot collect it, right? Do I wanna do I want ooh, should I delete it? Should I delete it, you guys? <laughs> I deleted it. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> what would you do if you saw 50 gondas on the market for one flux each? I'd flip them. Actually, no, I'd probably buy them all and give them away. Like all the other gondas that I still have in my inventory that I say I'll give away one day. Empty rooms of creatures. Easier said than done when they're all wandering all over the place like idiots. Hello? Well, I think we got... No, we didn't get that room done. Oh, because that idiot. And that idiot. And that idiot. Enemies? Okay. Because the enemies, like, follow people into the next room... There we go. Done. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not I'm not asking for info on like hosting Minecraft servers, you guys. It was just a passing thought. Um Minecraft realms are the way to go, just in terms of hosting a server without any lag at all, depending on how many people you got on it. The only thing is, um, <clears throat> you can't use mods, which I kind of prefer Minecraft vanilla anyways. Like, modded is fun and all, but after a while, it just kind of loses its purpose. So, I'm just kind of going to end up waiting until the official update. <clears throat> Imagine if Crystal Gear could be traded. Oh, yes, that is, uh, that is exactly what I kept... Pro uh, propositioning is um, <clears throat> signatory ring boxes. Uh, they they basically operate in a way that ends up giving us uh, tradable crystal rings, right? So just add gear to a similar box and just make the box be what drops, right? Did I say it the other way around? What I meant is realms can't be modded. If I thought that I did say that, but I don't know. Anyways, who cares? <clears throat> oh, uh, well, you can still get away with client side mods, right? Like we always have the uh, there's the map mod and stuff. Why is everyone turning around? Oh, <laughs> there's two pathways. <laughs> Took a minute. <laughs> I guess that's our speedy boys just doing their job running, right? Um Uh I will find out. TJG8. Is that yours your username? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I always forget how it's spelt, so. But yeah, see if there's an extra slot, I don't know. Oh my god, we've almost killed everything. I hate when the objective is like, kill- You remember when the Delves first came out? It was like, kill creatures, and there was like 50 million creatures, and now it like always gives you an amount based on the amount that spawn. So it's like, kill five creatures, and then there's like one for every room. <clears throat> I'm bored, what do I do? Play Elden Ring. Actually, you know what? I'm waiting for that Elden Ring mod that adds, like, multiplayer functionality to it. They ended up having a really substantial uh, update to Elden Ring that I do want, like, it's it's almost enough of an excuse for me to go back to it, where they basically made greatswords actually viable. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There's that cheese kicking in. Ah, <clears throat> God. Yeah, yeah, and then when you gotta gather ore, there's eight million enemies, exactly, I know. 
I just that's the thing like the the delves already sucks because the cave thing and then and then there's also like the confusing objectives that are just like <clears throat> highest class level uh for paragon level uh who would that be i guess that would be shadow hunter wouldn't it probably at this point i think i think i invested the most like my secondary class would be lunar lancer right and that was just killing time until this update uh with the shadow hunter came out i think the other thing too is it's like this you know where you're like constantly struggling with pulling all these enemies into a spot that you can actually shoot them all because these caves are just all whoa 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 up and down and gross i guess i should have been explaining too how the objectives work and how the xp works so just in case we got new people tuning in about you know the double xp 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 uh, basically, the reason Delves is so freaking good for XP is because each of these objectives all count as a different quest. So we got one objective uh, by killing all the enemies. We got the other objective by getting to the boss. As you saw, we got like 500 and something K XP. Uh, and then this boss itself is going to be another objective. So you end up getting like 1.5 mil per Delve floor or something ridiculous. It's something like that. I, I think it's actually a lot more. I'm just offhanding it. <clears throat> but point is, you get a lot of XP for this. Um. Oh, yeah. No, I don't doubt it, dude. There's other freaks that are really, really high Paragon level. I think if Paragon level came out, like... If it came out a couple years ago, I guarantee you I would be the highest Paragon level. Like, back when I cared. Because anytime there was a point where the game added, like, something where you could race through it, right? Like, I, around the time the Vanguard came out, I remember Joe and me specifically, we were the first level 30 uh, Vanguards. <clears throat> but as time went on, it was just like, nah, this matters less and less and less. Because they, you know, it's kind of like they added more and more and more and more content. And it was just like, nah. But if they had this back in the day, dude, oh my god. I'd probably be Paragon 1000 already. Because I was playing Trove like crazy. Which, not to say I don't still play Trove regularly. But basically now it's, you know, it's a lot more realistic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so they, as far as I know, maybe they are doing that. I don't know if they're giving you something special for a thousand Paragon levels, but uh, we did see on the test server uh, Paragon skins for certain classes. I did see it. A dev was showing it off. So, Fragile Torch again. They showed a couple weird Paragon items, which makes me think that maybe we'll end up getting... Uh, some Paragon related stuff that's, uh, you know, gonna be like costumes and junk. I, I don't know though. Oh, Beaverus just got a Permatorch. Heck yeah, dude, congrats. How many did you end up doing? Dear, dear Lord. <clears throat> Probably did 10. Good God. Yeah, he got one. He got my Permatorch, scumbag. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Help me. Goddamn cheese. That's the consequences. Worth it. The Shadow Hunter got a nerf. No. What nerf? What? What are you talking about? Hey, Zerus. Yeah, no, he totally stole my Permatorch. Yeah, that's how it works. Oh my god. 78 Leviathans, good god. It's always the people... <clears throat> Jesus. It's always the people that don't know what they got, man. <laughs> no, no, no. So Shadowhunter's animation might be slower, but no, he's still shooting the same... It's just the uh, VFX are different. They changed it so that it wasn't something that ended up blinding your screen. 
I did the survey. I put a couple things in that some of my friends actually found interesting. I want to hear what you have to say about them if you have a minute. Yeah, go for it, bud. I'm always curious to hear what you guys uh, suggested on the survey. Yeah, if any of you other guys have uh, stuff like that you want, you know, thought was interesting enough, sure, shoot it. That's the one thing is I actually would like to read through some of the survey answers myself, but <laughs> I'm not a developer, so not going to happen. I mean, personally, like, I, you know, when I made my video, like, I obviously answered every question, uh, and then I just scrapped most of it in the video it's just to have, like, the funny stuff or the stuff that I thought was important enough. Just because. Why does it show? Okay, weird. Hello, dum-dum. Die. You know what? We got pretty lucky so far. I don't want to jinx it, but... The fact that we've had Ephira spawn for so many portals. Usually, whenever I'm the host of these, they just die immediately. <clears throat> ah, yes. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Shadowhunter has a nerf gun. Ah, yes. How quickly can one do Paragon levels? Well, Paragon levels don't ever... Um, they don't ever take more XP. They don't scale. So, they are... I think it's like one one mil XP or one one something. How much, how much is it? What the heck is the command to see the XP? XP, there we go. It's... Oh, three mil. Three mil, sorry. So, it's 2.9 mil. And it's always the same from level 1 to level, um... Level 1 to level 1,000. It's always going to be 2.9 mil. <clears throat> oh yeah, Bobby, I'm down. Yeah, Mariko's going out to dinner, so, uh, I've actually got some free time to actually stream. Oh, we're supposed to be collecting ore. Rip. Uh, but that said, I'm going to be streaming Tro for quite a while, just because we got the double XP, double XP, double XP. It's too rare to not take advantage of. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I'll play Fortnite. I don't know if I'll stream it, but we'll see. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, do you think continue playing on PlayStation is worth it? I mean, if you're having fun, dude, then it's worth it, right? That's all there is to it. <sighs> Jesus, man, I gotta try and remember that. That's funny, bruh. Now I want a merch shirt that it would be really mean, but I want a shirt that has Jesus, but he's made of cheese. <laughs> Just confuse anyone that goes to my store. Moonlight temper. Wait, what? Wait, what? Seeds? What are you talking about, Sarah? You mean for gardening, bro? Is that what you're talking about? Unless there's, uh, there's probably more to your explanation, but I do like... Oh, I see. <clears throat> yeah, the spoiling mechanic needs to be removed for sure. I didn't even think about it just because I don't care about anything, uh, garden-related. But yeah, uh, I think that... I, I completely agree. I think that there's a lot of things in the game that should, like... One of the biggest problems with Trove is that so many things have a finite way of obtaining them. Like, Gonda, for example, you can only get from Troves of Wonder. And I'm just using that as a broad example. Uh, it's not necessarily that I think that Gonda specifically should be tweaked. But I think that everything in the game should have fragments, you know? Like, opening Troves of Wonder, if you don't get Gonda, like I did at 80 million flux, I should at the very least be slowly getting Gonda fragments, and then I could end up combining all of those together to give me a guaranteed drop of Gonda. You know, ju just as an example, it doesn't have to be Gonda, but I'm just saying that everything I feel should end up having that mechanic. Um, more specifically with gear, uh, you know, as we're doing these deeper delves, we should be getting Crystal 4 Fragments, and then we could forge it into whatever item we want. Or better yet, make it so that Crystal 4 drops are a little bit more common, 
but when you loot collect them you get fragments or maybe even make it so that we can forge gear up so you have to destroy enough crystal one gear in order to forge crystal one gear up to crystal two so on and so forth uh, you know you have to destroy crystal three gear in order to forge it up into crystal four uh, and then that way you could end up kind of just not dealing with all of the Delves RNG and then you would be able to end up actually crafting the gear that you want instead of getting a face for the thousandth time. I don't know. That's that's my thoughts towards it anyways. At least towards the gear. But yeah, I, I do agree, Saris. I, I never really think about the gardening just because of how bad it is. But yeah, if they overhauled the gardening to actually be something that was more functional uh, and something that was a lot more approachable, which again is something you, that you could apply to the entirety of the game. However, I would always argue the same as with Bomber Royale Season 3. Don't deliver content that people don't need. Nobody's asking for gardening. Nobody's asking for Bomber Royale. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that gardening is pointless and Bomber is pointless. I'm just saying that the number one thing that everybody wants in this game is related to grinding and getting gear. So that, I feel, is the top priority that they should be focusing on and making a lot more functional. And then never mind the rest. That could come later once this is a little bit more refined, you know? Because it, it kind of would be like the Delves or, or even the Geode Caves where they would work on this thing that, you know, takes a lot of manpower and a lot of effort to end up doing. And then in the end, nobody really cares just because it's not something that's super interesting. Like, I remember um, me and my buddies were always dogging on the devs because when they added the Geode Caves, not, not the Delves, but the Caves themselves, the devs kept saying, nobody's doing this. In other games, nobody's doing something like this. And we were like, yeah, because nobody wants it. <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyways, long rant over. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I liked the Geode Caves when it first came out. I, I even liked the Delves when it first came out. But the whole thing is that in the long run, it's just too, you know, meh. Gardening, personally, I, I actually liked how old gardening was more so than the new gardening. I felt that it was, it was still confusing and weird, but at least it was a lot more approachable to just plant stuff and wait instead of having to water it and all this other crap. But I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, damage and health definitely needs rescaled. I Personally, like, on top of gear drops being... Uh, better and completely overhauled combat as well uh if it was up to me my favorite style of combat is i would get rid of the cooldown on your roll so that you could just do it after the entire animation was done so that it was a little bit more skill based or maybe make it so that we had a little bit of elden ring thrown in there maybe there would be set items that give you increased roll uh speed or something like that or increased in vulnerability frames i don't know uh, and then one of my favorite things in video games is enemies with televised attacks, you know, where they have like the red bar that slowly fills up and then they attack that area. So it gives the player all of the information that they need in order to end up avoiding the attack. But yeah, that's what I would do is I, I would just focus 100% of the game's effort on Trove's strongest feature, which is the movement and combat. Because say what you will about this game, man. I, I dare you to end up naming another game that's got this type of fluent animation. And I'm not talking, you know, we'll ignore the lag spikes and rubber banding. <laughs> but when things are functioning as intended, that's literally why I've been playing this game for so long. Just because no other games do this, let alone an MMO. Like, bruh, you can play this game so fast. It's so fun. Not to mention the action combat system. Like, lots of people over the years have suggested I play WoW and stuff like this. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure that I would like those games just because they're nerdy. And, you know, you can grind like crazy and get, like, loot drops and junk. Um, but personally speaking, action combat, man, all the way. That's all I like. Anyways, yeah, there, there's lots of things that they can end up changing. Who knows what they'll do with it. I, I know that a lot of this is unrealistic. But there's some stuff that I think at this point could be a quick little band-aid fix. Um, I think it would take a lot of effort, but like I've talked about before, the signatory ring boxes basically are in the game and add a tradable variant of crystal rings, right? And then you open the box and it gives you random stats. 
So just add loot to those boxes and make it so that everything in the game drops those boxes instead of gear. And there you go, you've got tradable gear. That's one big problem already resolved. Oh, excuse me. And then it would be easier for them to implement uh, other types of gear as well. So we could end up having, uh, I still want set items. Uh, I want class specific items, uh, not like the bow, but I mean like I want a bow that has like a rare set augment that is specific to like Shadow Hunter or Boomerang or something, you know? I think that would be cool. Just because then it gives you something else to grind for instead of just trying to get Crystal 4, then at least you're trying to get a Crystal 4 of this super rare variant of gear that ends up being worthwhile for once and actually giving you good stats. I don't know. That's what I think. <clears throat> Yeah, but that's the thing, dude. Like, I, I know that the devs might think that that's the case of, oh, you could avoid the attacks too easily if they were telegraphed. I, I don't think that they could ever put something like that in Trove anyway, just because of the way that the engine is implemented. But I still remember one of my one of my fondest memories of old school Trove was, um, I, I remember I did in a video, this was years and years ago, where I was playing on the Shadow Hunter and a Shadow Invader came down and he was too powerful for me. I couldn't actually handle fighting him one on one. But that was back in the day when there was no cooldown on your rolling. And I remember it was kind of difficult because you had to like time it perfectly. But it was still really, really fun because I kept avoiding his attacks just when he did like his big Chongo move. And even though this guy was way stronger than me, I was still able to beat him because of player skill. And that's something that isn't really in Trove right now, unfortunately. And I'm not saying that adding, you know, getting rid of the roll cooldown would be the solution to end up making it more skill based. Uh, but it's at least, you know, the quickest, easiest method. Because that's kind of what ended up happening with Trove, unfortunately, is it's it's just a stat grinder, which is still arguably a lot of fun anyways. But anyways, now we're ranting about all the what ifs, all, all the could have been crap. <clears throat> Gunslinger gonna get nerfed. No, on the contrary, I think if uh, enough of us speak up, it should get buffed. It's too weak right now. Oh yeah, no, you're absolutely right, TJ. I forgot about that. Dreadnought did have televised attacks, that's true. Yeah, with the nuke anyways. <laughs> that was the only attack. Um, the rest of the mechanics on Dread were terrible, if you remember. Because it would just shoot that laser, and there's no way you could avoid it. I mean, you kind of could, but it was really, really janky. Just because the way that ranged attacks work in Trove, where they basically just hone in on where you're going. Um... But if you remember, that actually ended up one-shotting almost everybody. So you had to have someone that was strong enough that they could tank uh, those attacks out until the very end. But that was that was simpler times, man. With the... Uh, oh, empty rooms of creatures. Shadow Tower was simpler times. That was also... Oh, man. Shadow Tower and when U6 was the strongest. I remember those days. But yeah, the nuke was a pretty cool attack. Oh, the Dreads laser just does 2.5 mil per hit? Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's the thing, dude. Like, it was so ridiculous. You had to, at the time anyways, Ice Sage was the way that you could get through it because your shield could uh, soak up all the damage. <clears throat> That's what I ended up always using to get through Dread anyways. Not that it matters anymore, we never see Dread. Even though you're technically supposed to be able to see it in the Delves. I guess we could craft portals, but why would we do that? <laughs> I still like the, um, what was it in the survey? The one question, which Delve boss do you like the most? And it was like, they're all the same, what do you mean? Like, they're acting like Trove's combat is complicated, and it's not. Which is one of the good things about it, but at the same time, I think that if they ended up making like, you know, if they if they made the combat a little bit more skill-based, or just generally speaking, made it so that it was less reliant on stats, I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, what can I say? <clears throat> Excuse me, did we get a Crystal 4 out of that? No, that's actually from a while ago. <clears throat> 
Oh yeah, you had to travel up the spiral to get to the portals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you mean the one in the hub fish? Or do you mean in Shadow Towers? Because remember, yeah, we used to actually have the Shadow Tower dungeons themselves, which was actually really cool. I liked it a lot. I mean, I didn't... Okay. I wasn't a big fan of the Shadow Towers, okay? I never really was. Uh, <laughs> but I definitely prefer it over Delves. <clears throat> yeah, that's the whole problem with Trove is just that... Oh, it's getting ore again. The problem with Trove, uh, for any newbies that are in here and don't really know, like, how, how does Trove work, right? Trove is quite literally as simple as you either have to have a class that has enough survivability that you can survive out the attacks of an enemy and kill them, or you have to have so much damage that you kill them before they kill you. That's literally every single battle in Trove in a nutshell. And that right there is how we determine which classes are viable and which ones are not, is based on if they end up dying too quickly or not having enough damage, uh, to kill the enemy quickly enough. Oh, we got all the ore. And then, you know, of course, then there's speed farming and so on and so forth. That, you know, that's just basically the the quick, quick version of uh, how Trove's endgame works in terms of, like, Delves and Leviathans and stuff. But... Well, the thing is, we're so reliant on the flask because everything one shots us. Like, look at this. If I stand still for a second, like, look at look at my health just get drained. Because the other thing too is that one thing that Trove uh, really sucks at is you kind of have to use uh, what what was it? Um, you either have to use like cubic curtain or the uh, what, what's the arrow one in the potions? Uh, unyielding emblem. So that you get invulnerability frames after you get hit. Because otherwise, that's the big problem with Trove, is that you can get hit, 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 and then all your health is just gone instantaneously. And so that's why we're so reliant on these potions, uh, like, uh, death-defying, you know? For anything end-game, just because, like... Like, otherwise you're potion spamming, you know? And that's not fun. God, do you guys remember? Oh, you remember the old tutorial when I first started the game where you start in that little castle, it teaches you go through lava and then use the flask. Oh man, better times, dude. Back when cornerstones actually mattered. Like maybe I'm just being nostalgic, but I kind of miss when Trove was simpler. I think, don't get me wrong, I think they're doing a really good job with what they've got. But, God, I miss those times. <laughs> I mean, I like the new tutorial, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't make sense with the game anymore because they removed all the lore. I don't even know why they were going for lore in the first place. Hey, Sif. Also, hey, Strawberry. Sorry, I didn't say hello. Yeah, I guess that's the real bottom line, right? Is death defying kind of like you're super reliant on it on top of just the defensive aspect of it, but also just because the game's so laggy. Yeah. <clears throat> I know, I know. I like how the main tutorial teaches you of mag riders as if it's a thing. And it's like, nobody uses mag riders. Okay, this uh, seemed to generate, this might've generated too strong. These guys are easy. Okay, I see. It's the other guys that are difficult. Maybe they end up having, um, maybe they have physical resistance. But see, it's like, you'd think, oh, it's cool. We got to kill like 40 enemies. And then it's like, no, you got to kill 40 enemies. And there's just like a whole bunch of them now. Or sorry, I, what I meant to say is like, oh man, there's so many enemies we can fight. But you have to kill like over 100 of them. So it's not fun. Anyways, blah. Yep, Mag Riders. Well, because Mag Riders, if you remember, um, Mag Riders actually used to be one of the fastest methods of travel. And so that's why people ended up using them in their cornerstones, in club worlds, and stuff like that. Uh, but now we've got the Insta Portals, so that kind of took care of it. I don't even know why they keep adding Mag Riders to the game, frankly speaking. 
but that was uh that was what it was that was kind of the thing right like you know back when trove it wasn't really about like there was no speed meta or anything like that yeah and then the game breaker cannon oh god i missed those days i think the game breaker cannon kind of works again uh from what i ended up testing out i'm pretty sure i made like a youtube short about it because it seems to work again but i used to have it in my cornerstone and then the game just did that glitch that happens where it deletes the top half of your cornerstone and then the devs basically just were like yeah we can't fix this without rolling your account back and i had already grinded like a whole bunch so it was just like okay never mind and i never bothered rebuilding it just because it was like nah I don't think we should probably leave. Yeah, these guys are way too strong. Let's start an arrow portal. <clears throat> oh my god, boat hopping. Oh, that was so fun, dude. Boat hopping was actually like so fun. And then they removed that. That was just here. I'm going to you guys stay here. I'm going to end up going into the portal. I want to see if the game breaker cannon works, if we can get it to happen here live. So for those of you that aren't old enough to know, this is a Game Breaker cannon, uh, slightly modified to be a bit too big, but as you can see, it's very, very jank. <laughs> it's very broken. Uh, my buddy modified this one to be a little too crazy. You can see that the lag just doesn't really work with it, uh, which is unfortunate, but this used to very consistently work. Yeah, there we go. So it used to do that consistently. So you could use this in adventure worlds on your cornerstone to travel thousands of blocks. Which, I mean, the fact that it works again, even if inconsistently, we've still traveled like super duper far. So even if we look at the map, we actually almost made it halfway to Turkey Island. So that's pretty good. But um, normally it was a lot smaller and a lot more compact. That was uh, that one was kind of overdone because my buddy was uh, overdoing it. Oh, does the boat still boat hop still maintains the speed? Okay. Yeah, and then the boat hop used to quite literally be where you would jump in the air and use your boat, and then you would actually uh, maintain the movement speed that the boat had. And if you notice, a lot of the boats have like 140 movement speed and so on and so forth. So you would just jump boat, jump boat, jump boat, and you could use that to just and you would build up momentum and become like super duper fast. It was a lot of fun. Oh, well, there was Paragon Pinatas too late. But yeah, the uh, the Game Breaker Cannon kind of works again, so you can start putting in your cornerstones. I should, I just don't care. Because when do you see... Wait a minute. I just had a big lightning bolt into my brain. There's no cornerstones in Geo's surface, is there? Oh god. Devs. Get on that. No wonder I haven't seen cool cornerstones in such a long time. I just realized that they're not even there. Oh my God. No wonder. I was like, oh, I missed the good old days of seeing cool cornerstones, man. Damn it. How did I just realize that? I just, I just never thought about it up until now. Cause it, you know, there was never any point, right? To end up putting your cornerstone down. <laughs> Hey, that's on the devs. That's not on me. That's pathetic, dude. What the hell? No, because I already because I already haven't put my cornerstone down in a couple years, right? Like there's never really been any reason to. So it just I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure I dogged on that when it when Delves first came out or Geode Surface first came out. But I completely forgot because it's been years, dude. I don't care if there's no reason to have cornerstones in Geo's surface, dude. I just want to see people's cornerstones again. I loved seeing those builds. 
Not to mention then Game Breaker Cannon could be useful. Like we're sitting here going, oh, the Game Breaker Cannon works. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, this doesn't really matter. Why doesn't this matter? And it's like, oh, because you can't even use them in Geode Surface anyways. Dang it, dude. <sighs> they should really get on that. That would just be a quick line of code. Like, come on. Give us, give us our cornerstones in Geode Surface again, man. I want to be able to see those. Oh, there were so many good builds I remember over the years. Some people were really, really inventive with their cornerstones, my man. We should do like an old school, like, cornerstone contest. You know, like I, I remember those videos. Those used to be fun where we would end up like checking club worlds and stuff. Not that anybody builds anything anymore. Like there's barely any new clubs in the game that are anything substantial just because they made with the club update a couple years ago, they made it really impossible for people to make new clubs. It just it's really expensive to get involved with making a club nowadays. And then you got to have all the frameworks and all this other crap. And it's just ugh. Like, the reason we don't have all of our club fixtures fully maxed out is because uh, if we did, it would cost too much. And we're not generating enough of the uh, the rent. <laughs> what a great system. Oh, there's lore reasons why there's no cornerstones in Geode? Nah, there's lazy dev reasons. That's why. Come on, devs, do it. We ah, oh, now I want to yell at them and just say, add this. I can't believe I forgot all about like no cornerstones in Geode Surface. It's been that long. And no wonder it's been years since I ended up actually putting down my cornerstone. I always wondered like anytime an event comes down and then I throw my cornerstone down, I'm just like, why do I never see this anymore? If I had any, like, if I put my cornerstone down, then there'd be a reason to actually, you know, look at it and make it better. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's just like taking one aspect of the community part of Trove out of the game, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling weirdly nostalgic today. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> no, 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 I know, I know. I know, Saris. That's uh, that's kind of the thing. Oh, this is the last floor already. Oh, it's the first floor. Cool. And that right there, devs, is why the delve sucks. Like, come on, man. Waste of a portal. And do you have any idea how difficult it is to get these resources to build these portals, by the way? Like... <sighs> Like, Delves just sucks. There's no way around it. Just 100%. Every single aspect about it is made to be tedious. God. Uh, Felipe, I already have a uh, video talking about how you built the Shadow Hunter. Actually, the I, I realized that the, um, the Bomber Season 3 stuff distracted me, so I didn't end up making a video showing you how to build the uh, Draco. And then I checked on the channel, and the last build for the Draco video was actually in 2020, for crying out loud. So, <clears throat> that was the video I was going to do today, and then I noticed that it was double XP week, so I was like, uh-oh. Alright, gamers, let's go. Oh, dude, they just need to not have a chance of not spawning the boss. Like, it should really just spawn it over and over again. Because it's like, eventually you can't keep going into the Devils anyway because it's so difficult that it doesn't matter. So it's like, why? Why does it even have a chance of failing? Like, stupid. <clears throat> yeah, three at the least. Like, there should be a minimum for sure. But personally, I think it should just be consistent. Because you got to think, like, especially these portals, they are not cheap. They require a lot of really rare resources. And untradeable resources, too, by the way. That's the real point that I want to get at. Because it's mementos. You gotta end up having the purple memento, the blue one, and the green one. And it's not like you can guarantee drops for those. Like, it's it's dumb, dude. Although we do got the purple and green uh, Sayushi Gaming delve, so I do appreciate this. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. What's light power? I'm kind of new. Uh, so think of the light. So basically there's a light and dark stat in the game. The dark stat is only on enemies and the game doesn't really explain it very well. But think of it this way. The simplest way to put it is that the dark stat on enemies is an armor value and the light stat that we have is armor penetration. That's actually what those stats used to be called. And then for whatever reason, they decided to go with the whole light and dark lore theme. And then it confused everybody. But that's the short, quick answer. So the more light you have, um, the the more um, armor penetration we can end up doing. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's the allies that have the dark stat, but that doesn't actually do anything for the player, so it doesn't really count. But yeah, I guess that's true. The funny thing is, I remember when the first ally was added to the game that had the dark stat, uh, it did do something very significant and made you really, really powerful. And then, of course, they nerfed it because that was unintended. Wait, how is how are you using like I can't use Gonda in here. How the heck are you using the Pegasus mount? Or is there like a Delve related one? That I don't know about, like, how is he doing that? It's not Dahad or whatever. Oh, Lunaclipsia. Oh, I didn't know that was a Pegasus. No one's even selling it anyways. Dang it, I could have showed off my wings in here. <laughs> I didn't think about that, actually. Huh. Wait, that's not Lunaclipsia. Wait, what? Which one is that again? Wait, which one is that? What the hell? That's not... What? Pegasusa? A storm mount? What? Do I have it? I do have it. What the heck? This was from a pack then. What? Cost 100 meta matter. I didn't know this was delve related. I didn't know we could use this in the delves. Oh, it's from the bard pack. No wonder I forgot about it. Okay. I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know that it was a delve related mount. Okay, that's pretty cool. No, if it costs meta matter to craft, then technically speaking, yeah, that's that's related to the caves. So that totally makes sense why it works down here. I just never thought about it. Huh. That's so weird. It should really be in the delve category, or at least have a little description that mentions it. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's still related because it's craftable in the Geode Sanctuary stuff. Yeah, because technically all of the Bard stuff is. That's right. Weird. So weird. Oh, side note, I completely forgot to even mention. Did you guys know us on PC anyways that we got a new Glyph Launcher? It's okay. It's cleaner. Lots of people are complaining about it, <clears throat> but... You know what? Speaking of another thing that I think they should add to the game, <clears throat> excuse me. When are they going to add it so that we can just use mounts for vanity, but still have the functionality of other mounts? Like, I want to be able to have Gonda's functionality while using this mount, just because, come on. Or let me use Yabaki while still having Gonda blocks. Or better yet, just change it so that Yabaki is actually useful again. <laughs> like it used to be. I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, lots of people, uh, lots of people keep saying about the old launcher being better. I personally think that this one is better um, because it does track a lot more things like this one does track um, like your credits and stuff. Uh, it tracks a lot of in-game things, but on the launcher. Oh, Steam Trove doesn't work because, oh, yeah, that's weird, Joe. That's definitely an oversight. I think the devs forgot that uh, Trove was even on Steam. Yeah, that's totally true because it would be trying to look for the old Glyph launcher. Weird. Uh, the big thing that I know people really don't like about the new Glyph launcher is when you close it, it goes to your taskbar rather than just closing, which is annoying, but what launcher doesn't do that, right? Like, that's my argument. 
I do think that it's cleaner, and I think that as they up, like, I think it's a lot easier for them to update it, you know? Oh, yeah, that would be, that would be tight. It should have patron number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does this one not have it yet? I thought it, okay. Hmm. Yeah. They, they need to have, like, since it's clearly tied to your actual account, they need to make this launcher have a lot more functionality. That would be cool. Or, ooh, if they made it so that you could actually buy store packs and stuff through this launcher, that would be pretty tight. You know, so you wouldn't have to even bother logging in to get all that stuff. Uh, patron number as in, like, the amount of days that you still have left for patron. Because I don't think there's an in-game way of tracking that, is there? Unless it's, like, slash patron. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't know if there's a way to track that, is there? I don't know. Either way, the Glyph Launcher has potential. But, I mean, that's pretty much just Troven in a nutshell, isn't it? Uh-oh. Alright, you guys kill. I got you, Jump. Oh. <clears throat> she just wanted on the couch. Um. Wait, you can actually track your patron on the website? Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, they if if it's on the website, they should tie that to the glyph launcher and make it so that you can see that. I really think so. Just little quality of life things, you know. Make it a bit better. Oh my god, it's so gold. It hurts my eyes. It's like the Cave of Wonder in Aladdin or whatever it's called. That's nothing but the lamb. That idiot. Who sounds just like that, by the way? Except for in the, the weird Will Smith genie. Oh my god. Did somebody make it so that Will Smith is the genie from Aladdin slapping someone? <laughs> Sorry, I know that was just a random thought, but there was some pretty spicy memes out of that. <laughs> no, 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 there's no different reticle. This is a mod. Um, It's just like the dot reticle or something. I forget what it's called. <clears throat> but you can uh, I quite easily change it. Even if you don't really know anything about modding, all you gotta do is just change the file. At least on PC, obviously. Console, nope. Right, because the normal reticle is actually that stupid weird circle. Oh god, that's another thing I haven't seen for years. But that one's disgusting, like the default reticle. Man. I just opened the stream to scythe making demon noises. No. I mean, yes, but yeah. <laughs> Isn't that normal, though? Oh, hey. And we got a prime paragon loop. Wow. Why don't, why don't they, like, that, oh, that's something we should have yelled at them about in the, the, the trove survey. We should have told them, hey, can you make it so that Prime Paragon levels are just every 10 levels instead of whatever garbage you guys put in? Oh, man. I should have yelled at them to put that in. I didn't even think about that. Oh, we gotta kill the Corsair uh, fans for your PC. Where is this thing? Oh my god, my eyes. Hello? Is that them? Oh yeah, this is them. Two. Where's the last one? Oh, someone got him. Good. Oh my god, what is... Do you guys see this? Where my frame rate is a little janky? It's not 60, that's for sure. It's hurting my eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I didn't even... Thank you. Crap. That potion probably expired a while ago. I should have been... That's frustrating. Someone should have warned me. Good thing you warned me now. I'm just gonna wait for you guys to get to the end, cause so help me, it's too far away.
die. Give me that permit torch, you idiot. Oh my god, he did his spin a rooney blast. We got a memento, you guys. Oh my god, and a fragile torch. Wow. Yoink. Where is... There we go. Fifty-nine. Oh my god. So close. Uh, might be the dumb Windows thing. What Windows thing, Joe? Is Windows doing something? Is that when Windows says it has an update or some crap? Later, TJ. Have a good one, bud. Oh god. Help me. Uh, I need an air coffee. Later, Violet. Have a good one. Unyielding can stop that from killing you, yeah. Uh, the Leviathan spin? Uh, yes. I think. You gotta cast it just before it does the spin, of course, but usually it's better to just pull away, or I think you can roll through it too, but the animation is so long that it can just kill you. I, I don't usually use, um,. Unyielding just because we want to have like more damage for a Leviathan, so that's why most people just don't have the defensive stuff. What's the best torch to craft on Shadowhunter? Uh, Joe, what's it called? Joe knows because he's got it. I think Joe's actually got two perma torches already. Ah, oh, this stupid game. Just give me perma torch, please. Also, why are these bombs useless? Like, why do you have to bomb something like 50,000 times just to get it to destroy? So dumb. Stop! Stop knocking me around. Ugh. Um. Oh, later, Strawberry. Have a good one, bud. Make the purple bombs. There's purple bombs? Wait, don't I already have some of those? Well, maybe I don't. I thought I did. Huh. Weird. Yeah, there is the bigger bombs. That's right. Do those ones work better? Shadow Knot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's... I'm pretty sure that's the one, because I remember that's the name. Oh, you only have one? I thought you had two. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Where do you even make those purple bombs? I'm guessing it's at the geo bench. Just in the hub. Kill 50 creatures. Bruh. I still like how it just says kill, like blatantly. It's not like defeat. Kill. In this weird, cute little block game. Yeah, no, not attack speed. You go for the movement speed one. Um, and then something else. Yeah. Gives physical damage, movement speed, and five more flasks. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'd have to double check because for some reason there's like 50 different torches that you can craft. Which doesn't make much sense, come to think of it, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, attack speed would be good on other characters, not uh, not Shadowhunter. Hey, Doggo! What up, gamer? We bought tacos the other day, and guess what? I'm the only one eating them. <laughs> They're slowly going bad. <laughs> Because I'm the only one eating them. <laughs> yeah, man. Um. Oh, okay, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good, Saris. Probably gonna keep at this until my XP pot runs out, and then uh, probably call it. Wasn't even going for a torch, but I'll take it. No, I, that's exactly why you got it. Because you're not going for it. Exactly, man. You love Taco Bell. No, Taco Bell sucks. 
It might be better in your country. Out here, oh god, it's... Oh, oh. Like, you know how people dog on McDonald's for having their burgers and stuff made out of bugs? Well, if they're made out of bugs, Taco Bell out here literally is them reaching into the garbage and pulling out a taco. It's terrible. There's, um... What's that other one? There's, a, there's another one. Not Taco Bell. Uh, Taco Time. That one's decent. It's not great. But... It's not bad. The real bottom line is the tacos are always soggy. Like, and it's like, bruh, it's gotta be like crunch, you know? Yeah, Taco Bell might be good for you, Joe, because it's America and it's like more popular. Out here, I'm pretty sure we only have like one Taco Bell because they're slowly going out of business because they suck. Where is this? Where's this objective, yo? Uh, yeah, homemade tacos are always the best, but oh god, they take so long to make. That's the only problem. Because you gotta have the hamburger and stuff, and then you gotta get the mixture, and then the taco shells themselves, it all has to be in the oven, so it's just, ugh. It takes a long time. It's the same as nachos, too, and then unfortunately, the one problem is, um... Then the next day, like, it's very unlikely that the taco's any good, just because it goes soggy so quickly, like the shell. So in order to avoid that, you have to, you have to cook it in the oven again. <laughs> but I still love tacos. They're one of my favorite foods, right up there with sushi and stuff. We've had this place, um, uh, I think I tweeted it yesterday. But we got a new uh, a new ramen store opened up next to us, and it's actually really dangerous because it's really good. It's very rare for us to have good ramen out here where we live. Um, there's some really good ramen places over in Vancouver, but but now we've got uh, now we've got a good one out here, and uh, we go there a little too often. But it's too good, dude. Uh, Tim Hortons. I don't- I don't like Tim's. I'm not gonna- I'm just- I don't like it, okay? I don't know, Tim's always makes me feel like bleh. It's like... There's some good stuff there, or some decent stuff there, but generally speaking, it's like, Oh, you want donuts? Okay, here. Ten-day-old donuts, cool. <clears throat> I mean, I remember, yeah, I remember a long time ago that Taco Bell was really, really good. But nowadays, yeah, the ground beef meat, like, just, it's terrible. Oh, we missed the objective. Well, hopefully somebody else gets it. Can you see anything? I know I can't. Oh, man, and then one place, oh, one place that I'm genuinely pissed about. Used to go to uh, Pizza Hut all the time. Or not Pizza Hut, sorry. Uh, Boston Pizza, that's it. Boston Pizza was so good out here. Because they basically had like, it was just, it was genuinely like so freaking good. Uh, and then they started copying the US menu. And as soon as they did that, you saw the drop off. And I've never gone there anymore. Like it's terrible now. It sucks, because the Canadian menu was so much better. You would be able to get, one of my favorite things was you could get like an appetizer platter, and it basically just had like all of the wrappy stuff, and it was a pretty good deal, and you could, you know, you'd have like pizza slices, uh, you'd have ribs and uh, chips, and all. it was just so good, it was a quick and easy meal, right? And then it was all breaded, so it was really good leftovers too. And then, nope, not anymore. Now it's all overpriced garbage because, haha, America menu. Canada sucks. <laughs> KFC is the best chicken. You must be in one of those. You gotta be somewhere that KFC is actually good. KFC sucks out here. Oh my god, it's so bad. The one thing I remember when I visited Texas years and years ago that I think is really cool, even to this day, is how, like, in America, what is it? It's like, um, 
It's like Pizza Hut, KFC, oh, and Taco Bell, right? They're they're all in one, aren't they? Which would explain why your Taco Bell is way better. Because for us in Canada, we have Taco Bell on its own. Like, we don't have the conglomerate of all of them mixed. So that, that would make sense. No, Joe, that's the problem, is that the Canadian food is really, really good, and then it starts copying America, and that's when it's bad. Actually, uh, most of all, it's, it, <clears throat> it's difficult for me to say, because obviously you got to consider that my opinion on all of this food is as a Canadian. Because one thing that I will say is when I did have fast food in America, it's, it's too sugary. Like, as much as I'm complaining about this Canadian fast food, the quality of it is still leagues better. But if you want the best fast food in the world, Japan. 100%. I've never had a fresher McDonald's burger than in Japan. Because the employees actually work for a living and don't complain and they don't require tips. And it's just, what can I say? I love Japan. But in my, in my experience, and I'm not saying this is an overall blanket judgment towards America food or anything like that, but generally speaking, fast food in America was way too sugary for me. I'm pretty sure, like, as far as statistics are concerned, I think we have pretty high quality, uh, like, I, I don't want to say health and fast food in the same sentence, but I, I'm pretty sure Canada's pretty up there. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of not kill you as quick. I don't know. Oh, and Finian is saying I'm American and even I think food's too sugary. Yeah, it's it's weird, right? At least the fast food. I, I don't know about, like, main restaurant establishments. But it's kind of like the closest we got, I think, um, Pizza Hut. Out here in Canada, I'm pretty sure is very Americanized. And the pizza is very, very sugary. Like, even for us out here. Oh no, dude, don't even, yeah, don't even get me started on the Japan and other countries. Oh, in Saudi Arabia, it's good fast food too? Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because there's so many people there, right? I haven't been, so I can't say. Oh, we're supposed to gather crystals? Oh, God. No one's been gathering, myself included. Oh yeah, salty and sweet can be really, really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's too sweet uh, from my experience with America anyway. Especially too, like whenever we get the munch pack boxes and we get like snacks from America, it's just woof. It's, it's all sugar, no substance. And it tastes like it's from a factory. I don't know, maybe they're sending us bad sugar. But it's difficult to have the discussion about it because unless you've experienced both of them, you know? That's why, like, I'm I'm well aware that I haven't tried everything. I'm sure there's places in America that are fantastic, but in my limited knowledge of it. Fries with chocolate. Uh, yes. Oh God. No, you wanna you wanna make fun of Canada? Chocolate covered bacon and all that crap. Oh God. I don't know why Canadians are so obsessed with it, dude. I really don't. It's disgusting. Like the whole chocolate with everything. Like it just ugh. I don't get it, dude. But us Canadians, like they love it. They're obsessed with it as if it's like some gourmet thing that we invented. And it's just like, ugh, I hate it, man. But I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest pork fan. I know that much about me. Like pork, generally speaking, is pretty gross to me. I don't know. It's too fatty, I think. Oh my god. Get your crystals, boys. We gotta get them all. And then this is the last portal with the boss. Goody, goody gumdrops. At least we got a few of them. 
But my god, my portals just go through so quickly. I I'll say this. I like my bacon super crispy. When it's when it's like you bite into it and it's a crunch, but it's still like you can still taste it. That's my perfect bacon. All right. Well, I guess that's that. Don't worry. I still got more portals. <clears throat> yeah, salt. I prefer salt over sugar as well. I prefer like I maybe it's because I'm older. Um, I, I think that one thing that happens with age is you start liking weirder food. Like I definitely was not as experimental with the food that I eat as I am nowadays. And I try weird stuff and I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. But I still definitely have my favorites and I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of an idiot. So when I find something that I like, I just stick with it and I don't really experiment that much. Anyways, let's go in. Wow. Oh, did it not let you get in, Joe? Oh, well, rip. Yeah, we'll hop on uh, the fort fart after this. Oh, uh, side note, I know nobody cares, but for those of you that are actually like playing Fortnite and grinding out the battle pass, so they have this new, um, they have like this rap event where you basically go in game and watch like a live concert. It's weird, uh, but it gives so much XP. It's actually insane. So you basically just suffer through it. Just make your volume like zero. I'm not, I'm not hating on the, the music or anything, but it's Brazilian rap. It's like, I don't care. Anyways, uh, you get like, you get, you can get like a whole battle pass level out of it for sure. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stream Fortnite. We'll see. I know I should be. I'll probably stream it tonight, depending. Um, like, I've been playing Fortnite these past couple nights regularly, but I haven't been streaming it. And a lot of that's got to do with when my buddies are on, you know, I, I don't know how long I can play with them. Because I, I think everyone's starting to feel the burnout for Fortnite. I, I still really enjoy it, but uh, I think it's also because I've been on a night schedule and they're all on day schedule. So usually my point is that we only play a couple matches before they go to bed. And then it's like, I don't want to stream doing solos, man. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, blah. Yes, basically you go in, watch a YouTube video, wander around a little bit. The map, the rap map in Fortnite is actually really, really cool. Like whoever designed it did a really good job. Like I'm not kidding. Uh, but eventually you'll end up getting, um, you get like a paintball gun and then you shoot targets and they give like five to 8K XP each time you shoot it. Like it's, it's actually insane XP. I'm not even kidding. And then if you can suffer through all the way to the end, you get like a coin that gives you like 50k XP. I don't know if that's repeatable yet because I've only done it once because it literally takes like 10, 20 minutes, but it still is probably the fastest XP uh, for the battle pass creative maps that there is right now. Even better than the zombie city survival that I always did. Yeah, probably a Twitch stream. I, I guess I gotta remember that I can keep streaming on Twitch. But is there a point? <laughs> oh, God, help me. Yeah, D, if you stay awake more tonight, I don't know. I'm down to play more Fortnite, but yesterday, yesterday kind of sucked. Like, we were playing yesterday, and it was just one of those nights where none of us, like, I don't know. It's just, you know, you have those days where your shots suck, and you feel like just the team just isn't aligning with each other. But I got like one good episode out of it. So anyways, I don't mean to ramble about Fortnite. But yeah, I definitely do want to end up doing some more streams. It's just I, I can't promise anything for today. Uh, this is the main thing that I'm going to be doing. No, I know, D. I know. Did you hear about the Twitch changes? Yes, I did, which is actually making me uh, pretty happy that I moved on from Twitch so long ago. <laughs>
<laughs> so um for those of you guys that don't know like i've been streaming on twitch here and there and then i upload that video as like a members only video basically it's kind of a behind the scenes recording right it's not something that you guys don't get to see by not being a member on the channel okay it's just there's a lot of footage that i usually end up scrapping uh and so this way uh it's kind of like a way that people can still see it if they're a member which i have a bad habit of not constantly recording it or streaming it or whatever uh, but basically, Twitch just took a big fat steaming L, uh, and their new features that they're going to be pumping out, it's just, I mean, if they wanted to make the site irrelevant and make everyone move over to YouTube, this is the way that you would do it. Let's just say that, okay? It's, it's really bad. The only thing that sounded good was that they're removing the exclusivity, which means that content creators technically could stream on other platforms at the same time that they're streaming on Twitch, to my understanding. However, that doesn't mean that the exclusivity rights uh, is not on other platforms, because the short answer, just because I don't want to ramble about it, because I know it's super boring, is as a content creator, the best way to gain exposure would be streaming on multiple platforms at the same time. But um, YouTube, Twitch, all these other platforms, they have an exclusivity uh, thing in their terms of service, which basically means that while you're streaming on Twitch or while you're streaming on YouTube, you are not allowed to stream onto other platforms because they want to drive as many people to their platform as possible and they don't give a crap about the content creator and exposure. Which is funny because when you think about it, it would actually be better for the platform if they ended up letting more people stream on multiple platforms. It's just, it's weird how these CEOs think, but anyways. Later, Jacob. Uh, but in short, what Twitch did... Oh God, okay, I'll stop talking about Twitch. Sorry, Jub. Anyways, yeah, it's boring, so thank you, Jub, for reminding me. Nobody cares. <clears throat> uh, no, they do D. Unless they changed it, they do have uh, exclusivity with live streaming specifically. Like, you gotta look that up. Unless they changed it. It used to be that they didn't, and you were allowed to stream on multiple platforms. That's why back when I was using Restream. And then they, uh, they changed it, so now you can't. If they changed it again, I mean, that would be awesome. Because then I would stream on both. We. What do we gotta do? Oh, collect ore. Okay. Uh, where's Oreo? Hello? Oh, someone's already blasting it all, that's why. Oh, God! Oh! Shut up, Jeb! Uh, shut up, Jeb! I know, baby. She heard the wind. At least she doesn't have an annoying bark. I'll give her that. Like, I love Job's bark. It's just so cute. Like, so non-threatening. The funniest is when she's really going at it. She's like, because she's got that pug breathing. I know, Job. Oh, objective done. All right, I'll just stand here looking cool. As I try to keep up with chat. <clears throat> oh no, I know I know Twitch definitely has its benefits for sure. I just don't like uh, the... I, I don't like supporting the company itself just because of how simpy they are and stupid they are. Like the platform itself is really good for live streaming and still has a lot of advantage over YouTube. But... Oh wait, really D? What the hell? When did they change that then? That's news to me, man. If that I'm going to I'm going to double check the 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 terms of service, but if they did that, hell yeah, I'll be streaming on both platforms. Why not, right? More people led to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll check that. Cuz they they did have exclusivity, so I don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> That's just a fat and fat out lie. Oh, Jub, that's enough now. Okay, it's the wind.
Uh. I mean, I guess I can show you guys Jub, but sure. You guys clear all the objectives, okay? I'm just gonna sit here looking cool. Oh, hi, Bush Bush. Hi, Jub. What is it? Come here, baby. I know, I know, I know. I know, go boom. I know. Look at this. So fat. I know, Jub Jub. I know, Jub Jub. You're not even wagging. Now you're buying. <laughs> Good job, Jeff. See, she gets excited when she sees or thinks there's battle. Where's this objective? Why did somebody else not get to the end? Come on. I should have that as like a page thing, right? It's like, oh yeah, you guys gotta super chat me money. And then I'll show you Jub. <laughs> Not really. Now that the summer's actually been coming around, she has been losing a lot of weight. She was, uh... Not that I noticed a difference, obviously, because it's really slow, but she was, she was getting super duper lazy. She still is lazy. And just sleeps all the time. But now she at least runs a lot. So... Is there a way I could join? Probably, but I don't know. <clears throat> no, we go uh, we go on walks with them every day. Well, more than a walk. Like, we always... Usually, before I pick Mariko up, I take them to the park and we run around for a while. But not when it's, like, bad weather, which, uh, you know, only within the last month or two, it's actually been good weather. So, that's why we've been... Uh... She's been getting a lot of exercise. And it shows because she's a lot more active than usual. Empty rooms of creatures. Easier said than done when all these idiots are spawning up here. It's the nice rainbow cave. Ah! <clears throat> How long have we been streaming? Almost two hours. Good God. I don't even think we're going to get the full advantage of this um, XP pot. We'll see, but I can already feel in my bones. It's like, oh, delves. Also, I'm kind of getting hungry, like for an actual meal. I do have more cheese here, but it's like, eh. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, this is an older comment, but yes, Epoch, that's the thing. Is I just... Yeah. Twitch devs, man. They're just like, bleh. It's so unfair and so stupid, and it's just so simpy and wimpy, and it's just, I don't know. Although, what Joe said earlier, like, I completely agree. If you're non-stop, like, if all you're doing is live streaming, then yeah, you would just do that on Twitch instead of YouTube. YouTube still has a lot to catch up on. They have talked about some features that hopefully they'll start bringing to live streaming, but... It's, uh, it's been a while. Oh, this is the last floor. Good. Okay. Well, I got one more portal. I guess we're gonna use it. Gross. Don't do it! He tried. Scumbag. Give me my permatorch, damn it! I can't even see with all the items that are in the corner of my screen. We might have got one. Blah. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course, I'm sure they banned Simp over on Twitch, because they, uh, because the devs are, so. I just like how they're also, you know, they're like, basically Amazon employees, and yet, <laughs> and yet they're like, so stupid, like, weird. Got some of these, oh my god, we got a lot of mementos, actually. Get rid of all these. Um, get rid of this crap. There we go. Oh, there was also one of those. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Give me the purples. I don't even know why I'm putting all this stuff in here. Obviously, I'm just going to end up uh, getting more items. Wow, look how long we've been farming and look how many levels we got and look how little pinatas we got. Gross. We still got an air portal though, I think, right? Oh, was that it? Is that all I had? Ah! <laughs> Thought I had an arrow one. Maybe I can craft an arrow one. Hold up. Oh, the word itself isn't banned. It's just if you say it in a negative way towards someone, it's bannable. Oh, okay. Well, same thing. Job, shut up, man. It's enough. I know. Just go see who it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I can craft an armor. Sweet. All right, that'll be the last one. Go get him, Jub. <clears throat> Call it shrimping instead. Shrimp's kind of gross. Not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like it sometimes, but most times I'm really picky. Brum, brum. Yeah, no, that's okay, Joe. This will probably end up... Well, it depends how unlucky we get, right? Like, we'll probably end up getting the stupid... Uh, <sighs> we'll probably only get the Leviathan once. Oh, God. So dumb. Like, if we get a bunch of portals or a bunch of bosses, okay, cool, fine. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, you can enjoy shrimp. It's just, I don't know. I find it kind of gross. I used to like shrimp a lot. That's what I mean, though. Tastes change, and it's just, I don't know. I can't get over the fact, like, when the shrimp's all opened up, and you can just see the poop ripped out of it. And it's just, ew. I don't know. It's basically eating an underwater bug. That said, I like lobster. Uh, I mean, if you give me your username, maybe we've got a slot, but we had like 12 people trying to get in this portal, so we might not be able to pull you in. This is actually one of my favorite uh, delves, the haunted one. I like the fog. It's really cool. Adds atmosphere, which is not something that you see often in Trove. Yeah, um, friendly reminder, we'll, uh, we'll give some stuff away at the end of the stream. Just because, why not? Oh, did it really leave you guys behind, Spooky? Oh, right, because they fixed the, fixed the way that the portals work, where it doesn't put you guys into your own delve. That sucks. Yeah, it's kind of, I guess it's just first come, first serve now, huh? That sucks. Rip! <clears throat> Ow. Hello? I activated it. Oh, there we go. Man, can we, uh, like, where's monoliths? I mean, I know monoliths are basically cursed skulls, but where's objectives like that just out in the open world? You know, just give us a random little pieces of loot or something. Animated jug is so expensive right now. Yes, I wouldn't know. I don't I'm not looking at it, but where are you? Where is it? Hello? Is that him? Oh, yeah These enemies man, they just follow you to the ends of the earth <clears throat> Ah If you don't see the green icon above you, you're not getting in. Oh, is that how it works? Okay Yeah, I was gonna say like just craft the animated jug like what? Actually, am I even using the right ally? Oh no, I'm still using Animated Jug. Let's put on a mastery ally, right guys? Here, little Gonda. Or the little boot that no one likes. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, isn't it just expensive in general because it's tradable? 
empty rooms of creatures. Okay. Oh, hi, Mercs. <laughs> Stop going back to the beginning. Stupid creature. There we go, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. I'll try. Uh, join me, Loke One. Let's see. Probably didn't even pull you in. But, who knows. Oh, objective's done already. Good. Then I can just chill here. And I can slash Prance. Did you guys know this is a custom emote for these? <laughs> it's stupid. <clears throat> Chester Eggington for more damage. What does he even do again? Oh. Right. I forgot this guy gives the 30%. He, I don't think he gives more damage overall, though, because he gives a 30% versus 20, but no, that would be worth it over the light value, wouldn't it? Well, whatever, sure. So we're doing 16 mil... Versus 15. Oh, you're right. It is just blatantly better. Interesting. I forgot about that ally, actually. I remember seeing it in the event, and I was like, wait a minute, this guy's really good, and then I and then I forgot. So. Because that was also an example. That's, that's a Leviathan, so it is being affected by light. So, there you go. It's just better. <laughs> Yeah, it probably didn't give you the invite just because, um, uh, because we're full. It just, that's just how it works. It's weird. Oh, big head mode. Permatorch? Oh my lord, look at all these. Look at all these. Look at that. Gross. <sighs> oh, collect ore. Okay. Where's ore? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say too, because it gives the movement speed, which is really nice. Sweet. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's all good, man. It's, uh, it's a Dells, man, so it's just joining is kind of weird, but if there's any time that you guys want to end up logging on, it's today, just because we got double XP on double XP, so. Gotta get that grind on, man. <clears throat> man, alive the amount of ore that it wants us to get. There we go. At least it goes towards everyone that's next to you. Oh, excuse me. I guess a lot of people... It, oh, because of the time. Okay. I was wondering, like, what happened? Why, where'd everybody go? But that's right. I guess it got late enough for a lot of our countries that it's bedtime. Bro, we don't have speedy guys going to the end. Meh. This is where we need that bomb mount. God, I wish it would work in the delves. That would actually be really cool. Where the heck? Where do we go? There we go. That's why there's no one through here. No one can find the way out. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we already had the last Ephira spawn again. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't even notice. No wonder everyone left the delve. Ah, this stupid game, man. I mean, yeah, I have enough that I could do another portal, but I, I can't craft one, so it would be up to you guys. Somebody's willing to throw me a portal, we can go in again for sure, but... Stupid game, dude. That's so dumb. Ah. <sighs>
Oh, multi coming here to save the day. Yes. Hopefully you actually get in this time, because that would be very unfair. The portals are only 30k each. No, no, no. You're probably thinking of the gray portal. The gold one is the better one, and that one's... It was pretty expensive last I recall. But I'll try to make sure that you get in multi. Oh god, two. Okay. Thanks, bud. I don't know how you have so many of them, man. Like... Alright, multi. Go. Get ready. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, here, multi. I'll do it over on the side. Just so you can get in. Here, multi. Go! Multi! I think it's safe to say he got in, right? Yeah, he's got the thing on his face. Okay, cool. <laughs> Everyone keeps readying and unreadying. <laughs> the gray is more expensive? Really? I gotta, I gotta check this. Really? That means they had a switch around. Why? That's weird. Let's see. Ephira. Um, oh, yeah. They did get a lot cheaper. Okay, that's not bad. I'm down to buy some of those. Not right now, but... Hmm. Uh, there just doesn't happen to be any new games right now, Scythe. That's all. Like, pretty much right now, um, I've got Trove and uh, Fortnite as the main games on the channel. There's a couple other, like, random little indie games and stuff that I want to do, like, one-off videos on, but nothing that I want to do a committed series on. Also, I saw somebody ask earlier about Elden Ring. I already beat the game, like, three or four times now, so... I'm kind of waiting, um... There's a mod that someone's working on for Elden Ring that basically fixes the multiplayer and makes it, like, not a janky piece of crap. So... Whenever that gets released, me and my buddies have all said, oh yeah, we're going to go right back into Elden Ring hard. Because otherwise, the only other incentive that I would have for Elden Ring right now would be trying to beat it with different ty uh, class types. And the only one that I kind of am considering is the two-handed guy because they changed how uh, great swords and stuff work in the most recent update. But I don't know. It's still not really super duper appealing to me because I already beat the game so many times. It's one of those games I played to death, so <laughs> so it'll be a while before I play it again. Kill three creatures, see? And then there's barely anything to fight. That's how it always works in these stupid delves. Each of these rooms is like already done. There's no enemies. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Weird. But yeah, um... I guess long term, you know, we got God of War Ragnarok whenever the heck that comes out. Uh, there's not really that many other games on my radar, though. I, I know there is some, but they're not on the top of my head. <clears throat> A lot of them got pushed back until next year, so. We'll just have to wait and see with that. Probably just that no one's selling or buying the gray one. Yeah, it's weird. I, I sincerely don't understand why those portals are so cheap. I mean, not that they're cheap. I think it's just because, like, now everyone's grinding delves, so it kind of became a little bit more streamlined, I guess. Valheim's on my list. Like, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, you know, when the Minecraft update hits, sure. When the Valheim Mistlands update hits, sure. They added caves in Valheim. And I've been kind of low-key craving Valheim, but at the same time, it's kind of like, nah. That's another game I've already put, like, hundreds of hours into. Uh, yeah, your best bet to get invited to the club is... Well, I was going to say the Discord, but we actually have a couple of the, uh... People that can invite you here in, uh, the stream. So if you say your username, I'm sure they can invite you. I gotta go through, like, dead accounts on the Club World list again, too. I haven't had any time. You have any tips for me starting on PC with a friend? I'm 32 KPR, 500 mastery rank on PS4, but if you have lags so hard, I want to be on PC. Ah, I see, yeah. 
I don't know, man. Just play the game and enjoy it. Play the class that you enjoy the most. Uh, you are on the PC update, which means that pretty much every character is actually viable now. So there you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what type of advice you're asking for in terms of progression. You probably already have a pretty good understanding. And there it is. The last boss already. Jesus Christ. You kidding me? I guess we'll do another delve after this. Like, how many portals have we gone through? This is so dumb. Delve sucks. God. Like, and then the devs wonder why everyone hates it so much. Because it's designed stupid. Well, I still got one more portal, Multi. I guess we'll use it, because... God. Where's Multi? I want to make sure he's here. At the very least, he's got to get in because these were his portals. Oh, TJ came back. Multi! I don't see green on top of him. I'll throw down another one. Get in, Multi. I'm sorry to anyone else who was sitting there in the list and just got removed, but I feel, you know, it's what's fair is fair. We got to at the very least get multi in here because it's his portals. Sorry. Brum, brum. All right. Anyways, <laughs> six. Yes. No, don't do it, man. Yeah, just that's that's the that's the tropes of wonder, man. I like how almost like unless somebody just randomly gets lucky and gets Gonda, people are always just like, I bought so much tropes of wonder and I just oh god, what did I do? And it's like yeah, you now you see why I'm always saying don't do it, especially if you spent twenty two mil, you could have just bought Gonda. Like that's the thing, never take the chance of the RNG. Like, sure, you might get lucky and get gone out of, like, one mil, but the odds of that? Like, no. It's not common, man. <laughs> Spend another 100 mil, you might get a Gonda. Yeah, man. Like me, where I got my Gonda at 80 mil or whatever. It's funny, too, because I don't think I got a second Gonda, and everyone, like... Yeah, no, I only got one. That's right. The other one I bought, which, oh my god, so stupid. It's because, like, the karma bar doesn't actually, like, you know, you should be building towards, like, a rare karma, not just the chest karma bar. Just, it's so bad. Oh, hey, Terp. What up, gamer? Oh, god. Mm. <laughs> no, TJ. It's just my luck. Every time people end up giving me these portals, dude. Like, Multi gives me so many of these portals, and then my, like, Trove luck kicks in, and then it just is like, nope. Oh, God, I forgot my stupid phone is still starting. Because it restarted, because it update updated that I didn't ask for. Right. Yeah, there we go, because I didn't get any... Yeah, okay. Sorry, one sec. I just got to text Mariko. Because I only got her text now. Oh my god, that means I didn't get any of my notifications. It ruined all of them. Crap! Because I had a bunch of Twitter notifications. <laughs> Stupid phone. <laughs> Anyways. Where's the... Oh, Monoliths. Yes, good. Yeah, Multi, you got really lucky with your Gondas, man. How much are Primal Pins... Or 
what primal pin oh paragon pins oh they're ridiculously expensive dude it's actually insane yeah no 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 especially the odds of the items you get out of them it's just blah. it's terrible there ain't no karma bar on pinatas Yep, I, I actually watched Space Force uh, the other day. I really liked it. It's super short is the only problem. But I really liked it. And then um, what was the joke at the end? At the end of season two. Oh, I thought that was so good. Where basically, you know, they're they're like some Space Force, quite literally. And they're, um, they're trying to end up... Uh, there's like some malfunctioning thing so they're trying to use the computer to end up resolving it and then he's like boss i can't do it the computer's updating and then the the main guy goes effing windows you know because it's like windows update just automatically happened right there or yeah effing microsoft that's right <laughs> that was such a good one dude that really caught me off guard it was just like yes <laughs> oh my god that's the thing, dude. Like, as much as we all, like, love and appreciate technology, at the same time, I hate it. Like, the people that are in charge are just so dumb. They're always just trying to force you to get the next thing and consume, consume. And it's just like, can I please just have something that's going to stay and work? That's one of the reasons why I've actually, like, I I'm really enjoying Fortnite. Which I know sounds weird to come into a conversation like that, but at least Fortnite's not forcing you onto a new game engine like Overwatch 2, you know? Fortnite just is like, bruh, forget making Fortnite 2. I'll just upgrade the game engine myself. Which I'm not trying to dog on Overwatch 2. I've been seeing my buddies play it because I didn't get in. And it seems fun. It seems like the exact same game. But it does seem fun. I'm just waiting for the PvE. I guess that's that's something coming out this year, right? I'll definitely be playing the PvE of uh, Overwatch 2. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, objective done. Good. This will be the last floor that it spawns. Wow. Wait, what? Whoops. What are you talking about, Zolt? You mean like for the trove grinding? Uh, guys, I got a torch. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Oh yeah, what was the uh, what was the objective you checked out the other day, Joe? I saw on your stream someone was asking about dungeons completed. Oh, there we go. Good God, can it just show me? Stop! It keeps updating. Oh really? I thought it was oh, I thought it was closer to two hundred thousand. I think Joe's got more dungeons done than me. <clears throat> No, dude, no dreaming. You got to reinstall Fortnite right now, man. They got rid of building, dude. That's why I'm into it. Otherwise, I hated Fortnite. I tried getting into it over and over and over again, but it was just like, ugh. I couldn't, I couldn't get past the building, man. It was just so bad. And the skill gap was just way too high. Now that they got rid of the building, I'm actually like genuinely loving Fortnite. Like, it's also a really good time for me to get into it because of all the sliding and all the way you can control your character. Because the funny thing is, I actually played like the Save the World the other day, which is still old Fortnite, and my god, it's so bad. Like, it's like the old movement again, and it's just, oh my lord. But the no building literally pulled me in, and I have been addicted to it, like, ever since. I'm not kidding, like, give it a shot. It's, it's so good. I mean, you still got the sweats on PC that'll one-shot you somehow, but <laughs> aside from that, basically what I do, <laughs> my strategy for Fortnite now, is um, whenever it's just me and one other buddy and we're doing duos, 
almost all the sweats are always there in PC. So what we do is we both go onto console so that we're in console lobbies and it makes it way more casual and easy. And then if we got like three people or like a full four squad, then we go on, uh, then we go on PC because then it doesn't matter because it's just chaos. <laughs> but yeah. I don't mean to oversell it. I, I just can't stress enough. Like, I'm one of those people. I was in the same boat. Like, I hated Fortnite. Absolutely hated it. And now I'm just super addicted to it ever since the no build. <clears throat> oh, nice, TJ. The, um, gold heavy sniper. The, 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 you mean the exotic or? Oh, you mean like a literal gold. I thought, I thought you meant the, um, the one that had the exploding plunger thing. Yeah, those elephant snipers, or elephant gun, I always call them. Those snipers are really, really fun, actually. I'm not good at sniping, but I still take those guns any chance I can get, cause, just because they're hilarious. Just a big bang. <laughs> I don't know, my gorilla brain just goes, ooh, ooh. I like the sound. Come on, gamers, we gotta speed run this. My XP pot's almost out. We gotta kill 49 of these creatures that you could arguably say have never been alive in the first place, so it shouldn't count towards the objective. They're made of candy. Hey, stay still. Oh, and then I guess that was the other thing too that I, uh... I, I should have mentioned earlier because I saw somebody comment about it, but yeah, Genshin did finally officially confirm that they delayed their latest update. Which, honestly, who cares? The update wasn't going to be anything special anyway. It was just going to be, oh, a new character you can wish for. Cool. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen with the current, like, content that's in the game. Are they going to drag it out or is it just going to randomly, like, glitch or... <laughs> Because the game's not really designed around, like, updates not happening every three weeks. Or, sorry, six weeks. Wait. No, three weeks. Right. My God. Still terrible. Anyways. Get to that objective, gamer. Reach the cursed skull. Yes. This is the last floor of Fear of Ishban. I'm just waiting to see it. gonna happen man no no JJ on the contrary my dude so with Genshin like one thing I'll say you you probably got out like at the perfect time because frankly speaking being at the end game like Genshin sucks it, it's super duper boring there's barely any content added to the game uh, I would recommend getting back into it because the best aspect for me anyways with Genshin is the exploration rather crystals oh, great and um depending how long ago you quit there's a lot more areas to explore now and by a lot I mean there's Inazuma and the chasm and that's pretty much it but if you quit before those then you're in for a treat because those areas are awesome to explore I'd recommend even just coming back for that and then and then you can move on I'm just too invested in Genshin now to quit but uh i dog on it all the time just because yeah they they really just don't put out enough content with the game it's it's all about making money right and it's it's kind of sucks yeah you guys will get the rework um the shadow hunter rework on console at some point my dude but who knows when if i had to guess uh, and i've said this before but i'd say they're probably gonna try and push um the Shadow Hunter rework to come out with the Bomber Royale Season 3 content. Just because it's been long enough that they're probably just gonna wait and drag it out. Cause they've done that in the past as well. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. I wish that they would at least talk about it, you know? Like, give us a little more transparency. Even if they just say, yeah, we're sorry that it's been so long, uh, we'll let you know. But the fact that they don't even acknowledge it and just pretend that everything's going, like, according to plan. And it's like, clearly not. <laughs> like, what do <are> you... 
Oh my god. You guys have to gather these crystals too. I can't be the only one that does this. There's not enough for just me. It's just how this works, man. These crystals suck. This objective is the worst. It always wants too many. You know, like it should only say 10. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, here we go. I'm already in the last room, and I've got all the crystals that I can possibly get already. Do I even have enough jump to do this? Yeah, that's uh, that's basically all I can do. So it's up to you guys get to get the rest. All I can do is stand here. Oh well. <clears throat> Yo, you left before Inazuma. Wasn't anything to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, uh, literally, it's just oh, grind more artifacts to do ten more damage next week. Um, yeah, play Inazuma, play the Chasm. I really enjoy the Chasm. It's really, really well done. Thank you for getting the crystals. My god. But yeah, just explore the new areas and then leave. That's basically what I'm doing with Genshin right now as well. As, uh, especially now that I've swapped to being free to play on Genshin. You get nothing. Like, they they, they basically are assholes to you if you're free to play. Like, it's like they you can barely play Genshin. It's barely a functional video game when you're free to play. And so uh, what I'm basically doing is I just wait for a new update. And then if there's something to make content on, sure. And then if not, it's like, I just don't play. Would you still recommend this game? Trove, you mean? Yeah, of course I would. Trove's still my favorite game. That's the only reason I'm still playing it, so. But yeah, I I'd recommend it. I mean, especially on PC, because we got the more recent rework to all the classes. If you're on console, I'd recommend you might want to wait. Uh, until the update finally goes live and then when it does yeah get back involved with it but it depends depends uh how into trove you are in the first place i guess or why you quit but trove is very slow but at least trove delivers content that's kind of worthwhile except for bomber that's going to be very short-lived, is my point. I'm not dogging on Bomber again. I'm just saying it's, you know, it's something that's just going to kind of come and go. Oh, you never played Trove? Oh, God. Then, yeah, you definitely need to play it. No, Trove's amazing, my man. Look at the look at the movement and the combat that we have. There's no other MMOs that have this, dude. Say what you will about Delves being gross. I just wish that they would, you know, lean into that a little bit more. Make make things more focused on dungeon grinding and I don't know. Just make it a little more streamlined. Who knows? <clears throat> yep, that's that's exactly what I've always said, Dreaming. I, I'd prefer it if they overhauled the delves so it wasn't caves, but was an infinite shadow tower dungeon instead. Because they have the tile sets. All they would have to do is just convert the, the cave tiles into the shadow tower, and then there you go, problem solved. Delves would instantly be a lot, like, funner and cooler. And then you wouldn't have these dumb corkscrew stairs and all this era junk, like, instead it would actually be, like, dungeons with rooms and bosses and gateways and junk, like... I know that the devs probably would feel like that would be kind of a waste of all the effort that they put into the delves but let's face it dude like the amount of effort that they put into the delves could have easily been avoided if they actually listened to player feedback where players just said stop doing this and for some reason they just kept going we don't like this stop and for some reason just no we added a new delve type like okay <clears throat> Oh yeah, no, if you're free to play, uh, you get one wish in Genshin two or three days if you're free to play. It's ridiculous. Oh, TJ, yeah, you're not in this delve. That's why we got all the bosses this time. Yep, you're right. I think it's your luck and my luck combined is what was dragging it out. Also, please, give me a permatorch. Like, come on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just take the old Shadow Tower assets and uh, throw it into the Delves. Problem solved. Instantly becomes a classic area that people would find a lot more enjoyable. 
then it would me feel more like a raid and it, you know like it would just be i don't know it's a bit it's a band-aid fix rather than like an actual solution but i still think that the majority of players would be much more happy with it instead of this dumb cave system maybe make it so that the caves could spawn every now and then and would actually be like maybe there'd be like a lot of loot in them or something because I think that's the thing, too, with the Delves and why everyone hates it so much is because it's just not worth it. Like, it's a slog, you know? Like, it's disgusting to look at. And then on top of that, you don't get anything worthwhile out of it. Like, the only appeal to doing the Delves is, oh, I have a chance of getting Crystal 4. But if you, like, imagine for a second that they added Crystal 4 to Geo topside. Delves would die like that because there would be no incentive to do it anymore. Outside of obviously fighting certain bosses over and over like we're doing now, but you see that that system is just fundamentally flawed. But, anyways. Idea for a tome, regeminators. Legendary tome that gives 10 to 20 a week. Uh, yeah, I know, because you got to be grinding your qubits a lot in order to end up uh, changing your gems all the time. Just don't change your gems uh, constantly, forehead, right? Except if you're like me and you're always doing class guides and then you always got to swap your gems. Bruh, the regeminators isn't the problem. The problem is swapping gems as a whole is just so slow and clunky. I hate it. Oh, gingerbread man. Okay. No, <laughs> no, I know Infinium. I'm just teasing, man. No, it is, uh, it is a clunky system. The worst, like, I wish that I could just press a button and swap all my gems or something, you know? Like, have loadouts on my characters. Even if it would still just take all my regeminators, at the very least, it would save me time and carpal tunnel. Because clicking and dragging your gems every single time is just, it's atrocious, man. Really bad. I don't know why that still is a functioning aspect of the game. Like, honestly. It seems like it should, it's something that they should have overhauled a long time ago. And I'm not saying, like, how gems work. I'm just saying, like, they should have overhauled, like, the, the way you equip gems and everything. Like, it's just so bad. Oh man, we still didn't even have enough in this one room. Oh. Hilarious. Who's the best magic damage character? Um Depends what you mean. Do you mean speed farming or do you mean damage? Cause damage arguably is still Chloromancer. I think. Oh my double XP pot ran out. Dang it! I don't want to use a Nara one, because we're already too close to the end of this. Woo! Just give me that Permatorch, man. Come on! ay 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 Oh, whoops. Wait, is this mine? Oh, it is. Guys, we did it. We got the permanent torch. Just kidding. I am certain we didn't, so I'm not even going to look. Oh, did you get a perma, Kevin? Oh my god! Woo! We actually did! I was memeing! Finally! You stupid game! My god! It took so long, dude! It took so damn long. I can finally stop playing the Delves. <laughs> Jesus. All right, how many did that take? Like, man alive. Huh. All right, um, 348 Leviathans, my God. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Kevin. I thought, <laughs> I thought you were memeing too. Oh my god, finally! Jesus Christ! Do I even want to go to the next Delves? Yeah, thanks, Multi, for all of the extra portals that you threw me, dude. It definitely ended up helping me uh, get through that. I, I don't even care about doing an Iron Leviathan, man. I hate the Delves so much. Finally, I don't gotta do it anymore. Oh my god.
Beautiful. All right, I better make sure I craft the right one. Let's see here. Oh! God, I hate those delves, dude. Is it these ones? Wait. Why can't I craft these? Oh, because I have all these in my... Oh, no, I need an inert geode. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. I do have a bunch of torches in my uh, inventory, or my personal chest, I mean, so don't worry. Get rid of these, just because why not? Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Um, I think it's all of these, right? Shadow Knot, Saber Skull. I don't even know why I have all of these. You know what? I'm glad, in all honesty, I'm glad that I got my Permatorch way late in the game. Because, could you imagine if I got this before the Shadowhunter rework was in the game, and then I wouldn't craft the right one? That's a magic damage. That's physical damage. It's this one, right? Pretty sure. Physical damage, flask capacity, and movement speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Just want to double check. Let's get one with attack speed. Physical damage, jump. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, and then it's already magic. Okay, yeah, so it's this one. And then I also just happen to have the stuff for a magic one is why. Okay. Ay yay 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 yay. Finally, the moment. Brum, 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 brum. Where is it? Is this it? Why does it not have like stellar behind it? That's weird. Okay, we get extra light out of it, extra physical damage, not extra movement speed. Which is weird, and because this one already has... Oh, that gave me a lot of power rank, too. Sweet. Alright, I gotta remember... Is my loot collector trying to destroy that one? No, it isn't. Good. Yeah, good. Uh, I'm also gonna keep all these extra ones. Blah! Torches. Banners. Whatever. I think those were all of them, right? Yeah, those were the goody ones. Oh my god. How much is my light now? Oh, we're pretty up there now. Uh, I still don't think... Yeah, I don't have a Berserk on this character for a Berserk gem. Otherwise, I would be a lot stronger if I did. Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups now. I'm too excited. Uh, let me also craft all of these back into my inventory. Oh, I can't. Okay. I didn't want to craft all of them. I just wanted to get those portals back instead of wasting the inert geode, but whatever. Oh... That's a relief, man. <laughs> that's really... Ay, ay, ay. That's really nice. Oh, my God. Finally. Jesus. That took so long, dude. All right. Let me... Uh, how do I get rid of the style? There we go. Minecraft torch. Oh, it looks terrible. Oh, God. It doesn't work with this head, this hat aura at all. <laughs> What, Kev? What's up? What's What do you keep saying? Hmm? What's going on? Oh, my. Wait, what? Why? I'm just gonna... Dude, you can just throw those down right now. Wait, Paragon Mark. Wait, these are tradable? Oh, right, they are. Wait, why are you giving me these, Kev? Uh, thank you? I really appreciate it. I guess we're celebrating gamers. I'll throw these down in a second. I'm also still going to give away some flux. But um, I guess I'll throw down all of these pinatas. Let's all just chill down here. I'll get ready at the pit. Wait for as many of you guys as possible. But thanks, Kev. <laughs> yeah, celebrate the perma. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, don't uh, don't destroy them, okay, guys. I'm gonna throw down as many as I can into the uh, into the pit, and uh, if if I see you guys start attacking them, then I'll stop throwing them and I'll wait until everyone shows up, okay? Oh my God, look at this Chad right here with all the Paragon style stuff. Don't destroy them, okay? We want to have a full pit of these guys, like pinata soup. Oh God, they're starting to bump on me. There we go. Don't do it. Don't do it. You gotta resist. Yeah, those marks are expensive, man. I don't know why you're giving me those, Kev, but thanks, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, if you guys got more pinatas, now's the time. Throw them all in. Let's make this, like, chili. Let's, let's make it a collage of soup and just deliciousness. 
May as well, right? Let's drain our frames. It's pinata celebration time. We got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper in there with those pinatas. I'll see if I got other pinatas too that I can throw in here. Uh, let me see. I don't have them in my inventory, but I will go grab them. Don't, don't you destroy them. If you destroy them, I will destroy you. Oh my God, my frames are already draining. All right, what do I got for extra pins? You know what? Let's, let's open up a hundred celebratory pins. Why not? I got way too many of the star glint ones. These are tradable shadow pins, but uh, let's use the untradable ones. We'll throw down a hundred of these as well. Why not, man? It's a super surprise pinata party. Why are you guys destroying some? Oh, you aren't. Good. Oh my god, my frames. Help. Wait, did these pins not go in my inventory? Because this game is stupid? <sighs> oh my god. My frames! My frames! Ah. Okay. It, oh, because I didn't have the right inventory slot. That item cannot be moved. Error. Excuse you. I'll just right click it, I guess. I'll just make sure I throw down a hundred manually. Oh my god. Help! Oh god! It's beginning. It's beautiful, but... Oh my god. Wait, why can't I put these on my hotbar? What? Primal Paragon Pinata. I don't have Primal Paragons in my inventory, excuse you. I think I got relog or something. Oh god. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like being in a ball pit. Well, I can throw down the shadow ones, I guess. Uh let me what's the VFX? What's what's the VFX command to turn off VFX again? Um uh FX enable zero? Is it FX space enable zero? What the hell was it? Do you guys remember what it was? <laughs> you know what? I, oh God. Maybe we should start attacking these pinatas just so it doesn't lag people out and then we can throw down more, okay? I think we're all in agreement. Cause this is getting pretty crazy. So we should kill them and then we'll throw down more. Let's just go nuts gamers. Destroy, destroy. It's gonna start crashing people, man. Ah! It's crashing me! Oh my lord. It's beautiful! It's so beautiful. Jesus Christ. That's an example that the devs, like, devs, fix the pinatas, dude. Look at that. Good God. All right, let's grab all the air garbage from the star glint ones. Okay, we're still good. All right, all right. Stop now. Don't attack anymore. Okay, remember, don't don't you attack anymore because we're gonna throw down some, we're gonna throw down more of them. We got we got again nice soup can first. No, stop. Who's attacking? Stop it! Stop it! I command you to stop. I'm gonna- I'm not putting down any more pins until you cut it out, guys. We gotta make another soup can. Okay? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good. Good gamers, yes. Because the longer you guys don't attack, the more pinatas I'll put down. Okay? That's how it works. I guess we won't give away flux because this is our giveaway today, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess we could give away flux too, but- STOP! What's happening? Who's poisoning them? I don't think someone's doing that on purpose. I think that's just the game being jank. Oh, someone's throwing uh, crystal pins too. Hell yeah. Don't worry, we'll give away flux next time. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to bait you or anything. It's just I wasn't expecting, uh, I wasn't expecting a permatorch. I might have to relog because I think I still have paragon pins in my inventory. Ah, beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what else we got here? Oh my god, all these torches in my inventory. I still got these celebratory ones. But I can throw some of those down after we kill. 
You guys let me know when frames start dying. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm taking screenshots just because this is cool. We never do this many pins. But if there's any time to celebrate. <laughs> no, this isn't better than giving away fly. Well, I mean, I guess it is, right? Because everybody gets it. Oh, Infineon's frames are dying. I keep forgetting I should be typing in chat. All right, let's kill. Kill. We have to save the frames. Save the frames. Save the frame rate. This is going to drain even more frames. Oh my god. Beautiful. It's a pinata mosh pit. The problem is those stupid star glint ones are going to throw down too much gear on the ground and that's just going to lag out even more. <laughs> Alright, now more soup. Celebratory pins. I've been holding these suckers for years. Stop! I command thee. I see you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. No, stop! I think that's like a poison effect someone keeps doing. Stop! Actually, you know what? Who cares? It's okay. Just kill. Just kill, man. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's just get it done. Otherwise, it's gonna take too long. <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. Just kill gamers. I'm putting down so many celebratory pins. Just kill them. It's gonna take too long. We already saw all the pins anyway, so what? Now they're in a blender. I'll throw down like a few extra of the celebratory pins though. I'll go down to 500 from 800, so. That'll be quite a few. We'll see if we ended up gaining anything cool out of this too. No, no, it's it's okay. It's it's because the stream delay. Like when I say, "Oh, don't do it," and then you know everyone's watching the stream, so they don't know, or some people are just in game and don't know. But either way, how much money was put into this? I don't know. Nothing. This was all saved over time. Like these celebratory pins are from uh, what last year's event, I guess. Maybe the year before that, actually. Because celebratory pins, you can just grind, like, by the hundreds. I think they used to be a lot easier, though. So I used to have, like, a lot more. I usually would grind, grind over a thousand. But... Oh, no. I know these pins are old. These pins are extremely old. <laughs> the Paragon pins... Hey... That's Kevin, okay? He's the one who spent the flux. In which case, yes, he spent a little too much, but... <laughs> or, oh, because somebody else was throwing uh, primal pins too. Right, I didn't even consider that. But I mean, were we really going to sell them? Like, come on. Alright, that's it for the celebratory. Maybe I can see if there's anything else I want to throw down. Did we even get anything worthwhile? Probably not. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got some Paragon style unlockers. Wait. Cool, I guess. Oh, I got some pinata eggs. I could give those away. What about these primal Paragon amounts? I'm just curious. Um, oh my god. The, yeah, you guys weren't kidding about the price of these things. What about the mounts? What are they even called? Oh, Primal Pinata. Good God, these are a mil each? Well, I guess... Okay. I got a Primal Paragon Cube. Nice. Dropped 60 pins and got 10 mounts. Nice, dude. That, that made your flux back then, didn't it? Dang, dude. Okay. Uh, let me see if I got uh, 
see if we got any more pinatas that I can throw down here to celebrate. <laughs> Someone got the pinata wings? No. Really? Are you serious, dude? Oh, you know what? If I could sell these, I could get more Paragon pins. I'm down. I'd rather throw down more pins, right? Uh, oh my god, they're so expensive. Jesus. Yeah, okay. Well, that's three mil down the toilet, but I'll, I'll sell these uh, for the sake that we have them to give away. Look, see, it's broken. I gotta relog, I think. Oh, there it is. Weird. Loot collect them for 15 pins each. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you're right. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. <laughs> Three mil, whatever. That's us celebrating. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Okay. Don't say I didn't do anything for you guys. Oh, yeah, that gives a lot. I forgot all about that. Well, there you go. We got 140 more. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Now we got to let the soup, let the soup boil. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Because now this is big Chongo Paragon Pinata time, okay? No, stop! Don't attack. I'm not throwing until they stop. Okay, good. No! No! If you guys want me to throw down all these pins, you won't attack, okay? No, Saris, don't attack yet. We gotta make soup. We're making pinata soup first. And then when they're all down, then we can throw. Or then we can destroy. But I still got a lot of these left. How to join? Uh, just join Team Pixel. Our club world might be full right now, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, for those of you just tuning in, uh, I'm sorry I didn't do a random announcement about this or anything, but I, I randomly got a permatorch, so we're celebrating. Stop! Don't do it! I only got 40 more to put down, okay? I know it's draining your frames. I know it's draining your frames. I'm sorry, I know. I know it might crash some of you guys, okay? But you just gotta bear with it. We only got a little bit more. A little bit more here. I think my frames would actually be better if I wasn't using uh, reshade. There we go. All right, screeny weenie celebration. Yes. Yes! Hello! Can anyone see me? Okay, gamers. I'm seeing more paragons being thrown down. But I know people's frames are dying, so... I think that we can kill. Right? Kill. Kill, gamers, kill. Yes! Yes! Die, pinatas, die! Death to all the paragons! Hopefully we end up getting lucky with some drops. Oh my lord. All those items on the ground look really beautiful. And then our frames just come back all at once. <laughs> cool. Oh, I got the Paragon Weapon Aura. What? Oh, I already bought that earlier. I don't need that crap. No, I need the wings, damn it. Someone sell me the wings. Whoever got them, sell me them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I guess that's it, unless somebody else has more. Uh, I do have the weapon aura, so I can get rid of that. At least I ended up getting it for free, technically, right? Yeah, I don't even think I... Did I get cubes? Oh, I might have, but they're stacking with these, right. But yeah, the unfortunate fact is that if you're not throwing those pinatas down, you're not going to end up getting the items. Like, it's basically whoever throws them down gets the items. It's just kind of how Trove works. It kind of sucks. I know. <clears throat> but, uh, I do have... Oh, I have a couple more mounts I should destroy. Right. I didn't even think about that. 
30 more. Let's go. Let's keep this train going. Ah, you can just kill him. I don't care. We're so close to the end anyway. Now, wouldn't that be something? If I ended up getting those Paragon Pinata wings right at the end, that would be pretty cool. Just to, just to add beauty to today. Because I don't think I'm ever going to throw down this many Paragon pins. <laughs> but I'm not expecting those wings at all. Maybe somebody is actually selling them on the market now, though. But if they are, it's probably way too expensive. Um, did I get any more mounts or anything? No. Okay. Well, that's it for me. At least we got stuff for the crystal rings. Uh, let's see here. I'm just curious. I want to see if someone's selling them now. Nah, I didn't think so. Still, that was pretty cool. Great celebration, and it all ended up working out. Thank you all so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks, Kev, uh, for throwing me those pinatas, because good God, that was a lot of flux, man. Appreciate it. But uh, yeah, we finally got the Permatorch, so yay. <laughs> I can finally stop doing delves. I mean, I might still do delves anyway. Wait, what happened to my head aura? Oh, VFX is broken because we did too many things. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. I know no one's going to put them on the market and I can't afford those wings anyways. Either way, appreciate you guys coming out. Love you to death. Hope you enjoyed. I'll wait for the uh, stream to process and I guess I'll retitle it, but uh, I might have to try and grab a clip of when I got the Permit Torch so I can put it in a shorter video for uh, some of you guys that you know don't want to siphon through three hours. Uh, but either way, I appreciate you guys coming out very, very much. And